What's up, stranger? Stress. Been looking for work. What you looking for? One, two ounces of hard white. Bitch. People are always asking me, Kiki, the books that you write, is that about you? Is that about your life? I used to rob drug dealers. I used to traffic drugs. I was a savage. I used to get it, and I didn't care who I got it from. I've been looking for you for two weeks. Where is my money? And now I can sit here and show you guys a glimpse of my life before I turned it around. I'm gonna ask you one more time, Kiki. Think hard, all right? Where's my goddamn money at? Mrs. Santetta, you look stunning. What are you wearing? And tell us about this new venture in the fashion industry. Um, I'm wearing a piece from my own line. It's called Kais, designed by my brilliant partner and friend, Karen Blackwell. Wow. Look at Adriana Santana. She's hot. I don't see Lewis anywhere, though. I noticed Sheldon Chisholm and his family are here. Not to mention the other half dozen criminals in here. Oh, no, you don't. We're here to have fun. But why are you here alone? Where's your recently acquitted husband, Louis? Louis is back home resting. He has his share of bright lights and cameras. We just want to leave that whole thing behind us. No work today. We've been here for five minutes and you're already profiling people. Come on now. And what else are you looking to see tonight? All of my friends and to show off her brilliant work. Everything that you're about to see. We can't wait for it. The only reason I invited you is because you're my best friend and we never get to spend time together. Plus, you're killing it in that dress. <laughs> Here comes Jess. I wanted to introduce you to him. Then why do you have it? She told me to keep it. I'll be out in a minute. Stop with the lie. He's a very flashy Haitian with a pension for violence. There's no one to play with. Haitian. Where's my goddamn money at? Sakura is dead. Play with me again. I'm tired of hearing you talk all the time. Save it. Save it. She's my friend. She's my friend. But I will not give up. I will not give up. And I will not get caught. Time to go hunting. And the winner is Wes Clark. Congratulations. Yes, she's my mother. Rock stars. There is nothing like those wild, rebellious party animals. <laughs> Entry number 60. 
When I decided to pursue acting, I never thought it was this difficult. After weeks of being homeless, jobless, sleeping on my friend's couches, I'm finally here. Just take care. What are you doing? Shh. What's Shh. going on? Tribe, they're Terry. coming. Where have you been? I've been calling you on your cell phone all day. At work. Yeah. Uh, Faith wake up, dope sick, fiending for a snip. Left the house, ain't tell her husband she was gone, she just did. Why is it that you are taking large sums of money out of our account every single day? While her family's at home, she's out there chasing that house. Roaming up and down the block, she run into this pimp guy. This conversation with her, asked her if she trying to make cash. Next thing you know, she's in front of the peach house selling the ass. Then she gets dope sick again. She need that boy, so she out there searching again. She's tired of her life. For years, she done wrong. Now she want to do right. She go to rehab to get the help she need, and she tell her family. I'm Yoshi Lomax, superstar attorney at law and fugitive. So, you're the famous Yoshi Lomax. Probably more infamous. I'm on the run from the federal government for crimes that I didn't commit. Gentlemen, I'm Deputy U.S. Marshal Sharon Starr. I'll be taking things from here. Not to mention being on the hit list of at least three of Miami's major crime bosses. I wanted to apologize in person for leaving so abruptly last night. Welcome back. That's Vladimir Kuznetsov, a Russian crime boss. He's been a suspect in over a dozen missing person cases. I mean, I didn't get here to be this successful for doing things the American way. I need a list of the jury for my case with Hanju. Oh, really? What's that worth to you? God, you're such oh, a... Sh Mr. Santana is to be released upon processing. So what do you know about Sheldon Chisholm? What do you want to know about him? I really need to know if you're going to take my case. I don't have time to play, Miss Lomax. Money is not a problem. You know anything about his case? It's being handled by agents in my field office. I've learned that in this game of life, in order to win... Ready to dance? You gotta play dirty. You might look at me and see a beautiful, confident, successful woman. Congratulations, counselor. Yet another win. But underneath, I'm flawed. I'm broken. And I'm scared. So I have no choice but to run until I can find a way to clear my name. Miss Lomax is now considered a fugitive of the United States. Catching fugitives is my business, which makes her my suspect. You and your associates are relieved. Look, <clears throat> she killed one of our own. But I will not give up. All right, people, listen up. Get a picture of Miss Lomax out there so the public knows what she looks like. I will not give in. Okay. People, we got a game plan. Let's break and execute. I will not get caught. Time to go hunt. So we have the extended version of the dream sequence right here. Sheldon comes to visit Yoshi in her hotel room after their meeting. Yoshi looks a little nervous at first, but then you see things get a little steamy after he throws her against the wall. And 
right here, Yoshi thinks she has everything under control because that's how she manipulates men through her sexuality. So in her mind, she has him right where she wants him. You see, that's Yoshi, though. She's hot. She's sexy. She's manipulative. She uses sex to get the upper hand on men. Get the win, no matter what the cost. And as you can see, this is not exactly the result she was looking for. We shot this scene in Atlanta. Chuck Gomez was the director of photography. Great scene. Good acting by Sasha and Wilner. R&B artist Jamela. I pick Kelly. Yeah! Love you, hate you. I don't know if I should leave you. Stay here, right here. Push your water. this in the morning please no i think i want to handle this right now you can give your time to the studio boy but i think your man can get a few minutes all right hey don't walk away from me you're hurting me stop please get in the car Standing next to me is one of the sponsors of tonight's fabulous event, music mogul Lance Wallace. How are you, Lance? Good evening, Michelle. I'm well, thank you. Excellent. Now, are you concerned with the recent backlash for the drug charges against your group, Grind Time? And what's the status of the case? Worth a billion ink and its artists will always maintain its innocence. This is clearly a misunderstanding. And we're here to promote positivity and give opportunity to our people to all people. That's it. And so what do you think about Mr. Wallace is here to promote his fashion line? He will only be answering questions about that subject. Thanks. I'll be all this is Ray Lawrence, and you're watching Real Talk with the director. Hey everyone, it's your girl Catherine Nunez, and you're watching Real Talk with the director and the council on the IE Network. Real Talk. Hey, I'm Gina Liu, and you're listening to Real Talk with the Director on Dollhouse Radio. Hey, what's up? It's Logan Browning, and you're listening to Real Talk with the Director on Dollhouse Radio. Real Talk. Hi, this is Alana Della Garza, and you're listening to Real Talk with the Director on Dollhouse Radio. Hi, I'm Diane Franklin from Bed of Dead and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures. You're listening to Real Talk with the Director on Dollhouse Radio. Hi, this is Monique Capri, and you're watching Real Talk with the Director on Blog Talk Radio. Hey, I'm Stormy Maya, and you are listening to Real Talk with the Director on Dollhouse Radio. This is Vicky Judy, Orange is the New Black, and I'm here with Real Talk. Yo, what up? This is Jay Ellis, and you're watching Real Talk with the Director on Dollhouse Radio. Keep it locked. Hey, hi, I'm Rita Park. All I'm offering is the truth. Nothing more. Nothing more. Nothing less. What's up, people? Welcome to another edition of Real Talk with the Director and the Jedi Council. I'm the Director. We'll be with you for the next 120 minutes or so. Real Talk is brought to you each and every Monday by B2S Media. We broadcast live via the World Wide Web on YouTube.com slash IE Network TV. And, of course, Facebook, a.k.a. Meta, the social network, and newly uh, broadcasting on IG, Instagram, Instagram Live. Hello to my Instagram Live people over there. What up? What up? What up? 
Yo, so we're back for another Monday. Uh, <laughs> busy Monday. <laughs> it's kind of a few things going on, as you as everyone probably knows at this moment. Breaking news on uh, the Feds uh, uh, raided two of Sean Puffy Diddy Love, whatever you want to call them. Uh, Sean Combs mansions, at least two. I'm getting word that it's more spots than two because you got the New York spot. But as of right now, it reported that his 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 Star Island mansion, Star Island is, for people who don't know, that's in uh, South Beach area of Miami. Uh, not at, on South Beach, it's separated. And it's the area where all of the millionaires' houses are. They actually shot Scarface on Star Island, but that's a whole nother thing. But anyway, um, and they also raided his uh, California home. So, all right. That's interesting. <laughs> so, not much uh, news. Nothing has been found or anything like that. It's just uh, they raided it. So, we, well, at least we don't know if anything's really been found any evidence that leads to whatever it is. They're not even letting you know exactly what they're looking for, but obviously it's tied to the ongoing allegations from different people, blah, 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 blah. So that was something unexpected. Well, not unexpected, but unexpected tonight because we got other things to talk about, but <sighs> kind of on the same vein of you know sexual assault, and except this one is more so with other stuff. So anyway, as that goes on, we'll keep an eye on that. Keep you posted on that. Um, yeah. So, but tonight we definitely uh, want to talk about the uh, the documentary we talked about this weeks ago. We, we said it was coming out last week. We knew it was coming out, so we said we'll check it out and then get back to you this week. Quiet on set. The new documentary talking about. The shenanigans going over at Nickelodeon uh, under the helm of a one Dan Schneider. Uh, yeah, I watched the documentary a couple times. Very, um, very interesting. Very interesting uh, information indeed. Uh, we'll we'll break that down. Um, we will also talk about. Uh, the other documentary that came out over the weekend was the uh, the Freak Nick <laughs> um, Freak Nick documentary came out on Hulu. Very another interesting documentary. Um, I I have a I pose a question to that, especially for people that saw it. Um, you know, found out a lot of things that I didn't know about Freak Nick, and that's interesting. Um, it started out a very positive event and, uh, yeah. Um, but is this another, just another positive event that went the way of whatever, went the way of negativity by the actions of some ignorant ass Negroes being negative or being going overboard. And it's funny because it, it seems like to me. Ain't trying to point no fingers, but it didn't get turned up until Luke got involved. Next thing you know, it's all crazy. But you know, I digress. We'll talk about it uh, later. And um, the new Roadhouse film is out on Amazon Prime, starring uh, Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, Conor McGregor as the the big baddie in the um, in the movie. Um, well, what we want to do is we have a special guest coming on later tonight at 9.30-ish. We have a stunt uh, actor, uh, David Chen, will join us, and he's going to give his breakdown of, we're going to compare fight scenes between the original Roadhouse, Roadhouse, I, I got to do the Peter Griffin, but, uh, the original Roadhouse and the remake Roadhouse um, fight sequences. We already know, you know, we'll talk about the story, but 
you know, the storyline to me doesn't even match the first one. But the fight sequences were a little interesting. A little interesting on how they did it. More so the camera work. I should have had my man come on, too. A uh, couple of camera people see what they thought. But we'll talk about it. We'll get that started. And, yeah, there's a lot to go through, man. A lot to go through. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll get it started, man. We'll go with our weekend recap, and I'll send the link over to Heaven Hollywood. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me Get the weekend recap going for this weekend. Brought to you by BoxOfficeMojo.com. And do, do, do one second, Ev, I'll send you the link. Or maybe you could just, oh, say, so you could have just logged in, but let's send them the link over. Yeah, man. So all of this stuff is is really wild right now, man. We didn't expect the puffy thing to happen right now, but so you know, it is what it is. We will uh, keep everybody posted on that. And uh, yeah, weekend weekend recap. Uh, brought to you by BoxOfficeMojo.com for the weekend of. March 24th, March 22nd through the 24th. Number five, Arthur the King, 4.3 million, brings the total to worldwide 14 million 600 and some change. So, uh, after opening in 3,000 theaters on March 15th, that was Arthur the King. Okay. Then we have number four, Immaculate, 5.3 million. Immaculate is the film that's starring um Sid, Sid, what's her name? Uh Sydney Sweeney. That just came out this week. Uh it's only made five million dollars so far domestically, opened up in twenty three hundred theaters. So that's not really getting off to a great start. Then you have Kung Fu Panda 4, 16.5 million. Uh, bringing the worldwide total to 269 million thus far. Came out on March 8th, opened in 4,000 theaters with an opening of 57 million dollars. Number two on the list is Dune Part Two, 17.6 million over the weekend. Uh, bringing the worldwide total at a half a billy at five, 575 million. And some change. And number one, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, 45.2 million. Just came out this weekend on March 22nd with an opening to 45.2 million. Opened in 4,345 theaters. And uh, a total worldwide opening weekend, 61,600,000 even. Pretty good for opening for Ghostbusters, a property that is 40 years old. <laughs> but you know, obviously it's a newer version, but you know, that's that's a pretty pretty good opening for that property that came out when I was a kid in the 80s. So uh, there is your weekend recap brought to you by boxofficemojo.com. Make sure you go to boxofficemojo.com to check out all of your uh stuff i'm not giving them a, a endorsement <laughs> but anyhow you're watching real talk with the director of the jedi council i'm the director brought my jedi council with me well one of them's here also i see my brother and partner in crime heaven hollywood's in the building what up brother and here we go ralph what's going on bro what's up what's up come on yeah. welcome welcome what's going on everybody how you doing what's up what up and we got uh we got a poll um we got a poll also at the top we were just talking about the if you've seen the new roadhouse give me roadhouse. You know, give me your opinion give me your opinion on the fight sequences compared to the, the original you know which one was better original or this one just a quick poll to see what people of how they feeling about the new joints so the roadhouse going. Mm -hmm. yeah so um yeah man so 
yeah, we'll talk about that when David Chen comes on around 9.30. We'll get into that. Obviously, we, we're going to start off with the Dan Snyder. Uh, I'm calling it the Dan Snyder doc. It's really the Nickelodeon doc. Um, but before we get completely into that, obviously, the breaking news with uh, the Fed's rating, Sean Diddy Combs, Sean Puffy Combs, two of his mansions, at least two of his mansions. We don't know if they got to the New York joint yet, but, uh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Man. So it said, she said, Man. I refuse. No, Nala said, I refuse to watch it. You refuse to watch it, huh? The Nickelodeon joint. I hear you, man. It's not, it's, it's a tough watch. It's a tough watch. I can't. I, I, no, I think she's talking about the Roadhouse movie. Oh, oh, she's talking about the Roadhouse movie. Okay. I think. You refuse to watch <laughs> that? Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, I don't know if you both of them are a tough watch. No I'm joking, but the Roadhouse movie, I watched it, and you know, like I said, I'll get to my my opinions on it a little bit later. Uh, but I really wanted to kind of. I did think the one, the one, if you want to say positive, that I'll say is, and this is more. This might be more a tribute to camera work than actual choreography. I thought some of the camera work was interesting. Which actually made the fight sequences a little more engaging. It made you feel like you was in the fight with them. And that's what I that's one thing I kinda that's a new camera technique that I kinda like. But um we'll talk about that. Now Diddy, back to Diddy. Two two of his mansions were uh raided today, the one on Star Island, that's in Florida, right? Miami. Yeah, and uh, and then the one in uh, I forgot the neighborhood, but it's another famous neighborhood, it's the same neighborhood that the uh, Playboy Mansion is in out there in uh, California. Also, also New York uh, has now been uh, down to it, and it's spot in Vegas. Okay, so now they added Vegas and New York. Well, there you go. So, all, I, which I knew yeah, that all time, happen. all simultaneously. I think uh -huh. he's got two, I actually think he's got two spots in LA. He's got one in LA. He's got one in Beverly Hills, I believe. Beverly He's got Hills, the spot yeah. in in um New York, mm -hmm. uh, Miami, of course, which is a big mansion, and then he's got Vegas, which is kind of new. But I mm -hmm. also thought he had a spot, a house in Atlanta. I don't know what happened to that house, but I thought he that did might that well, might be under siege as well. But mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's crazy, they, and 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 they're, they they're saying that his. I don't know whether he got tipped off because they're saying his plane left the country. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn. It's yesterday. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Uh, Josie said she, she thought they said they arrested his two sons. I don't think they arrested him. They they said that they, they probably detained, detained them. them. They detained them when they went to the house because they couldn't go back in the house. I didn't see any reports of arrest. They detained yeah. them which is not the same as arresting someone. That's just basically saying you got to sit here while we finish what we doing here. You can't go into the house and they may not let him go back into the house. Right. They may not let him go back into the house. Depending if, if the house, if they find something, the house is considered a crime scene. So they're not going to let them go back in. But um, if, uh, if they don't find anything, they may just let them go back in. But just to right. clarify, they were not arrested. They were just detained. And that's just a fancy word by saying they just held them there and, and babysat them and said, you can't go nowhere. Like they're not going to, they're detained because they can't leave the scene either. They can't right. leave the scene while this investigation is going on. So that's what they mean by detained, but it's not necessarily uh, arrested. So correct. Uh, obviously, it's tied to the, uh, to all of the allegations and things that's been popping up with him, which started with the situation with Cassie. Cassie's uh, what lawsuit. started it all. Cassie started mm -hmm. the whole thing. And right. she, uh, she kind of uh, set it off. And, uh, you know, she actually, you know, she's kind of out of it in a way, but because she kind of got what she wanted. She really didn't yeah. even want him to go to jail. She just wanted money. But uh, she got the money. 
But because of that, this is the things that happened. And, it, you know, it just kind of trickled down from there. You have people that chimed in and everyone that kind of, you know, he became this whole poster boy for this situation. Now, you know, they're even using the name No Diddy instead of Pause. They don't replace <laughs> Pause with No Diddy. Um, wow. Which I think yeah. is dumb. But, but, you know, there's just people doing it. They're saying, oh, no, you know. Everyone knows when you use the word pause, obviously, if you say something that's a little shady suspect, you know, and you, you say the word pause, now they're saying no diddy instead of pause. So, I mean, you know, it's fine. At this point, it's 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 gotten real. It's gotten 100% real. And if his plane has left the building, that means he knew it was getting real. So he got out. But what's weird is that if he's gonna leave, well, I guess his his sons are not indicated in the well, you know, they 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 have been in, you know, people have mentioned, and one guy did mention the other son. So I'm like, if you if you gonna flee, Diddy, why don't you take your sons with you? <laughs> you know, leave yeah, them. don't leave them behind holding the bag. Uh now nah, so is it true that Diddy said he was going to expose Tyler Perry? I didn't hear anything. Uh, I, I didn't hear. I didn't hear that. That that's probably these these AI YouTube. Let me let me just yeah. send out a some advice and a warning to like to to you you guys that are frequent YouTube um, visitors, what have you. You're gonna see a lot of YouTube channels mm -hmm. that are, uh, that are gonna be, you know, sensualizing these stories oh he's going to expose jay-z he's going to expose yeah. tyler perry you know he's going mm -hmm. th th these things are not true like they, they're, 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 they're true. simply they're trying to bait. yeah they're just simply trying bait. to 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 make you click on the story then they have some then they they say oh you know diddy to the sport. then they'll have something and, and diddy won't even be in the video you know yeah, they'll, they'll take they'll be something totally made. different there's so many yeah. of them now yeah, there's several programs that you can use that literally will make these things for you. They're AI driven programs. Yep. And everything down to the voiceover is made by AI. So you have to really be careful on what you watch and what you take in. A lot of these, if more than likely, if you see stuff that is um you know, yeah, I know it is annoying, isn't it, Josie? She said clickbait is so annoying. It is. And it wait it's a waste of your time. They'll have a mm -hmm. whole headline that says, you know, Diddy. Mm -hmm. And I saw I read one the other day. The headline said, Diddy uh uh ex exposes, no, not exposes it's something about Diddy explain or oh, Cameron explains how Diddy turned Jay-Z gay. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> You know, and I'm, and, and, and then and then piece, Diddy won't though. be even in the video. They'll yeah, be talking about the something. Video. They got they, they got Cameron about. talking about the time that Diddy had dildos. I like, like so they had yeah. absolutely nothing to do with to it. Do with and then they'll say, "Well, we're safe to assume that Jay Z is good yeah. friends with Diddy, so we have to be safe to assume yeah. that he knows everything that's going on." Like that that's how they they'll try to connect it and say yeah. because they're good friends. I'm yeah. sure he's been involved in the freak offs too. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got to remember, keep in mind, if the headline seems a little uh, too juicy, a little bit ridiculous, yeah, it probably, it probably is. is. I mean, you know, that whole, that, that headline just seemed ridiculous to me. Um, he turned then, Jay Z you know, gay. Like, <laughs> right. And then, you know, and here we go again. Uh, you know, I just once again, I just saw this on Facebook, even about this whole thing. The Nickelodeon logo is Epstein's Island. Oh, my God. <laughs> so there's a there's a picture of I'll, I'll let me put it on the screen. So people. So 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 Nickelodeon was made God knows how long ago. <laughs> and, and, and they decided back then to make that Epstein's Island. Look, um, unbelievable. Cool. There's an the Epstein Island that is kind of like a weird starfish type of shape. And right. it's like a cross. Yeah. Honestly, it looks like a cross. If you really it look at it, it looks, looks like, like a, cross. a weird looking cross. Then you got the little uh, thing over there. So the Nickelodeon <laughs> logo, 
now is FC's island. These people, all these people just want, like I said, and 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 sadly, a lot of those websites be getting 70, 80, 90,000 yeah. views in an yeah, hour. Lot, and but that that's why they continue to do it because people, you know, love to be involved. Like I said before, people want to yeah. see involved in, in drama. People want to see a train wreck. People want to see yeah. people uh, dragging down. I don't know what type of pleasure and that it gives people, you know, to see other people falling, but they want to be involved in it. You know, I'll they want to be that. involved in it. I'll answer that. Yeah. It's, it's for one, it's for one simple reason. And I don't know why, because everybody feel like they got to be involved. They got to have a yep. say so they got to have an opinion. Well, bro insists nobody asks you, nobody cares about your opinion on something which you don't even have a basis to even start an opinion on. Yeah. Nobody was checking yeah. for you. Go, go, go back, go, go back to look, look, man. I need my fries dropped. I want hot fries. Concentrate on that. Straight <laughs> <laughs> on what I'm doing. Yeah. Hot fries. Right. That's light salt. That's the only that's the only thing, man. Uh, again. Again. Um as far as Diddy's situation, we've been hearing a lot about Diddy all through the years. There's always been whispers, there's always been stories, or what have you. But if if he's getting raided, usually, now I'm not saying all the time. Usually, the feds. I mean, you you know, you've been you you've been a part of it. We've we've been a part. We 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 was a part of an unfortunate raid that we we knew nothing about. But Nothing what we do that. know is if they raid your spot, they got they something. found something. They got something. And, they got and, something. and just to clarify that before people start making rumors about us. Uh <laughs> we, <laughs> we, Yeah, we, I told I that story, up. but that you was that, that was, had something to do with yeah. my landlord. Yeah. With his landlord, your former landlord. I woke up with guns He was in NYPD. Yeah. NYPD was was when they were with the feds. NYPD, I forgot what that's called, but it's like a task force. Where the NYPD joins in with the feds to go after yeah. my landlord was was the NYPD. Yeah. yeah, landlord was an NY crooked NYPD cop yep. who was selling stuff to you know selling cop uh, uh, official cop police gear to criminals and things and, and like rob, that. And, and, and robbing drug dealers. And he was helping so he rob drug dealers in the middle of all of that stuff. Uh, they, they, and, and he had a, you know, he had a pension coming, not a pension, but, uh, uh, what was that called? He had, a, he had a disability case disability that was, that case. was about to go through that on that Monday and they on hit him Monday. on Friday, the Friday before his disability case, they yeah. did that on purpose. The oh, Friday right. before That's his disability good. case was going to go through on that Monday, they raided his spot. And, and they raid the spot. Them, and and unfortunately, and that's when you was running from that particular person. So they raided. They had to go into your apartment as well. And I was there. That's when I used to work overnight. So I went to your your place and fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I went to your place to do something. Drop and something woke up and woke up with guns in his face. And woke up with guns in my face. Talk about let me see your hands. And I'm sitting there like what? <laughs> so uh. Yeah, but yeah, that's what it. So the point being, when that happens, they have something because they're not just gonna go in. I mean, now what what that something becomes? Right, what that listen. something is that we don't know. Yeah, but what it becomes is something else. You know? Yeah, <laughs> she said, oh, "No, Wes. Yeah, Wes. I will go with guns in my face." Let me see yeah. your hands, and then they thought. Then they, you know, I'm like, y'all still messing. Everybody always get me and my brother uh, crossed up. To myself, I thought we saw you leave earlier today. I'm like, that was my brother. That wasn't me. <laughs> but um, yeah. So, uh, with that being said, man, I mean, hell, they raided Mar-a-Lago. They found stuff in there from Trump, but Trump is still walking around free. You know, yeah, that happened to him. So nothing's I mean, gonna know. happen to him. He, he they they just they just lowered his fraud. They just lowered his thing from he owed six hundred and forty eight million. They just said, oh, if you give us one hundred and seventy five million, we'll let you off the hook. You know so, what? You, you know what? I, I I was I'm gonna be honest with you because I was asked this the other day. I was really rooting for them for the for the DA to go in there today 
and yank his house. I I always said if he do that, I'm just I'm just gonna get the biggest liquor bottle I can find and start drinking because it's gonna be party day. <laughs> but someone finally <laughs> sit up to this dude because my if that was me, I would have yanked his house and immediately after I yanked the house from him and kicked his ass out or put him in jail cell. I would have been digging up his ex-wife's grave to see what's inside, what's actually inside the casket. Because that's yeah. where I think where, wherever Probably he got that, that he hit you is inside the casket. <laughs> yeah, wow, no. What up, Reese? Thank you for, for holding us down and supporting us. We always, but, um, always, always thank you for that. Well, any 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 more updates on it? We'll keep you updated. But like I said, um Drew Dixon, from what I from what I hear, they said she she served Russell with a defamation. Now, now you know he can't. You you know he's in Bali, so they can't um, expedite him. Right. But he got someone went over to Bali mm -hmm. and served him with a defamation suit from Drew Dixon. Mm -hmm. Um, because I I guess he called her a liar. Mm -hmm. Remember she sued him. Um. Yeah. For the essay and call him a lie, so I guess he got sued. But like I said, they said Diddy's plane is in is in Antigua now. Maybe maybe yeah, he and decoyed. The, Antigua's not going to do you no good because Antigua has a yeah. uh has an expedition treaty. So you're gonna get your ass right back in the United States. Antigua oh, ain't gonna that, do you no good. They they said it was heading for that, but we don't know if that's where he is. He might have went there and then kept it moving. Yeah, uh, the the could have been. If he was smart, it's like if he was, island off of, in, in Antigua. The, 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 yeah. moment, the moment that lawsuit went down, I said, Diddy better leave town now. Because yeah. it was only it was only gonna get worse. It was only gonna get worse. So he should have just left. But I mean, now he has, and like I said, that knowing, I mean, you gotta remember this guy, you're dealing with a person who has a lot of money, so Guess what? He may have flown to Barbuda and and took a a, a, a yacht to somewhere else, or, right? You know, whatever, possibly, or or, or, possibly. or or switch planes and flew somewhere else because <clears throat> he has to know if he's leaving the country, he has to know that he needs to go somewhere that isn't going to send him right back to America. So mm -hmm. that might be that might be the place where he has to refuel to go. You know, they may have to land there to refuel and then go wherever it is he wants to go. He may end up right there next to Russell in Bali. That's where you he know. better go. But uh, so, that's what it's so. Anyway, let me ask y'all a question. Though. With him actually running, let's sit, let's sit there and say, not positive, but let's say in essence that he's actually running. You think that just automatically makes him guilty? Like if you know in the, in the public then, eyes, of course it does. In the public eyes, it, it will. No, no, but no. I mean, it doesn't. Uh, to be honest with you, to answer that question, Ralph, it doesn't matter at this point. He's already been made guilty in the public. Right. Eye. Exactly. Exactly. He's been guilty in the in the eye of the public. He's been guilty from day one. So yep. it really doesn't matter uh, if he decided. Actually, I'm surprised it took him this long to leave. Should have been left. <laughs> because, like, like I said, man, you, you, you're gonna once, once he settled the case, right? Once he settled the case with Cassie, that's gonna make him look guilty with everyone else too, because they're gonna say, "Oh, he settled with Cassie." That you, that you see, that's what everybody was saying. Oh, he settled for a reason. He must have been well, guilty. I said, that, when, I, when, I said right. that too. Like, bro, really? Why are you settling with Cassie? Well, you, you, you have, you, you have to remember the. Um, if he would have let, let's just say, you know, he wasn't guilty of it, but fighting that a lot of other stuff could come out that he might be guilty of. You see what I'm saying? So, so this, right. It, it, and, it could start and, a lot, and of a lot of other people exactly. could get exposed to it as well that exactly. really so don't want to be involved. Right, it's better you know. for him to just go. So I mean, you know, as far as if you if you if you're him, you're in that spot, you're better with because now not only like you just said, not only you can expose other things, let's just say you're not guilty of the stuff that they're talking about. We know we know Puffy is no angel. So there's right. a lot of things that he may be guilty of that also could come out behind this. And like you just said, he could expose or be in a position to expose other people. 
Diddy is not going to willingly expose anybody. He right. from, let's let's not let's not get it twisted. He's from Harlem. He from he's not going to he's not going to willingly. I'm not saying that he won't crack, but I'm just saying he ain't going to willingly just say, "Oh, I'm just going to take everybody down with me." Because I don't do not taking people down with you don't do nothing. You know right. they 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 trying to use you as an example. So as that that is a. A, that's a developing story that we'll get back to as this develops. Right. But, uh, you know, topic, back on topic of quiet on set. Oh, man. Quiet on set is now officially track. over, and now you have the the aftermath mm -hmm. of the show. As, yeah, as we already knew that there were going to be some things that comes out about employees former employees of nickelodeon and of course the former head of production yeah. you knew that was coming that's what everybody was waiting on anyway Snyder. yeah everyone <clears throat> was waiting on that um and you found out a lot of different things also a big bomb that was dropped the biggest bomb of that episode of that documentary was the mystery victim was finally revealed as Drake Bell. And right. Drake Bell was the vict was one of the victims of one of the pedophiles that worked there that Brian was, Peck. Uh, yeah, Brian Peck that was not you know, not a victim, uh, not a victim of Dan Snyder, a victim of Brian Peck, no, you know. A Brian if, Peck to keep pe that people keep go that people go into the show like who's Brian Peck? You know, see it, it's funny because <laughs> The I don't like to make it a, a, a white black thing, but it's funny that the 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 black community, yeah, they're not satisfied with the little fish. They want the big dog. Yeah, the white community ain't giving you their big dog. Here, take this little puppy. Here, take Brian Pat. They yeah. ain't giving you Dan Snyder. They ain't giving you um uh. Steven Spielberg, if, you know, not saying Steven Spielberg's guilty. I'm just saying if he was, yeah. they're not giving you them dudes. You could take the little guy, yeah. <laughs> but we that we not giving you our big dogs. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, um, I mean, it's just it's just the fact that for whatever reason, like I said before, and I, I you know, um, it is just I said this a million times. It's it seems to be that the black culture. Anybody that is at a certain level, they have no problem jumping on whatever bandwagon to bring that person down. Now, I'm not saying if the person did wrong, you shouldn't want them to to uh, uh, pay for it. But whether I want a lot of people to pay for stuff, but I ain't go, I ain't willingly going and, and and handing them over on a silver platter because you know what. That ain't really my business, number one. And number two, if right. it happens, where and, and it's just a purpose that Dan Schneider, who is all this time, you know, has gotten away with whatever he's gotten away with, because we don't know exactly what he got away with. Um, it's all alleged, right? Um, it's all speculation. Yeah, it's all, <laughs> it's all alleged, you know, stuff. So uh there's been people that has allegedly you know made reference to him uh you know Jeanette McCurdy kind of made reference to him she didn't she didn't actually call his name I right. mean she implied it was him but in actuality she didn't say his name so um so there's a lot of implications out there uh but right. and he comes out obviously that's just now that's the same thing now he finally, this documentary got his attention. Got his attention. Yep. Everything else, he never, he never made a he comment. Never said one word. Never said a blah blah word. He didn't say one word for uh, anything. Now he decides to grab a friendly somebody who he, you know, is is uh, in good with that has a podcast that he he could come on. And uh, uh, and, and interview him on, I believe that's on his channel. Yeah, and not get harassed, right? Not get harassed, not, not be get pressed, uncomfortable, yeah, not be pressed, and, exactly, yeah, not be pressed. And you know, comments are turned off, none of that. So he decided to come on and say what he had to say. 
because up until this point, he was talking through his lawyers and he was saying, you know, hot, you know, comments like, uh, you know, oh, well, as far as his so-called sexual in the window uh, dialogue and things like that. Oh, that's adults have a way of putting their adult adult brains on children's shows. And, you know, it really just basically he's saying we're the ones that's that's the pervs. We're the pervs. I got I got I, mean, I got interrupt. I got to ask that question to 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 Dan Schneider. That that's even said. No, that's our human brains on the. What other kids show comes to mind that even gives you the implication of an adult themes on that show? We're talking well, about little kids. We're not talking about yeah. something like 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 Saved by the Bell or something like like a different right. world. Like they dealing with seventeen. To twenty one, right? Years. Someone like with like 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 I don't remember seeing too many adult adult things. Now now yeah, I do remember the episode of Different Strokes that that dealt with that with Gary Coleman. Yes, but mm -hmm. it it was more from the you need to look be aware of this, not the quote unquote enjoyment of it. That's a different right. circumstance, right? Yeah. But beyond that, I don't remember too many. And, that, and different shows really wasn't a, a kid show. It was for kids, but it wasn't a kid show. But but Nickelodeon is specifically a kid friendly net. Forget show. It's a kid friendly network. Network. Right. I don't remember two other many shows that were. It's one of the shows. That's I don't remember seeing nothing like that on kids. Sesame Street or Electric Company right. or Zoom or no. Kids Incorporated. I don't remember that kind of stuff. No, you're not going to see I'm that wrong. on those those type of things. Now there are shows even cartoons that have sometimes adult hidden themes in there, you know, right. jokes, stuff like that. That's been done. Yes, but, I agree. Yeah, that's been done forever. You can go all the way back to Looney Tunes and, and get that. You know what I mean? So it could be adult driven jokes but, but, some but themes and Snyder like, he was yeah. some next level stuff like yeah was, he was on some next level stuff man like you know the whole you know, the feet thing and, you know, all of the stuff that they said. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of reports are now coming out on the blowback and the aftermath, you know, Drake Bell, uh, that whole situation with him. Now, Drake Bell, uh, let me, I think it's good to, uh, it, to uh, inform that Drake Bell has been supportive of Dan Schneider. He said Dan right. Schneider has only been the only one that actually supported him when he was going through his trauma and his time now, you know, because Nickelodeon never even reached out to him after that whole ordeal happened. You know what they did? They gave him a TV show. <laughs> That's basically what they did because they were just <laughs> like, Oh, okay. Well, sorry. sorry about that here. Go get your own TV show here. And you know, <laughs> that'll fix everything up. You know, <laughs> uh, that, cause that was right before the Josh and Drake or whatever show started was actually that guy peck got got went through his whole thing and then all of that was over and then he started filming drake and josh or whatever so um they said here kid take a tv show and shut up that's pretty much what they said same <laughs> thing they tried to do with uh jeanette mccurdy you know they they offered her three hundred thousand dollars according to her book according to her Nickelodeon offered her three hundred thousand dollars, which she labeled as hush money, and according to her, she turned it down. All right? She said, "She's the they they said, hey, you know, we're sorry, we had to part ways. Here, here's a three hundred thousand dollar bonus for your troubles, and uh, you know, but you know, before you, you know what? Before you take that check, you just gotta sign this one contract that says um, you can never talk about." Anything that happened to you during your time here at Nickelodeon. Here's, so, here you go. Here, here's my only thing about Jeanette. Yes, yeah, she didn't take it, but if you're not going to drop names, why you might as well took the money? Hmm. Because she really, she really didn't, still really didn't say anything that incriminating about Nickelodeon. Um, no, she just and, talked about her. I mean, yeah, no, she didn't say nothing too incriminating, but at the same time, she did. She did hurt them. That book hurt them, and um, 
you know, uh, I, I'm 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 tending to say no. I, I I'm tending to go away. I don't think the book. I don't think the book hurt them at all, because I mean, Nickelodeon is is still rolling. You know, without well, you saying, gonna, it, yeah, the book wasn't well, gonna, wasn't yeah. gonna take down the no, 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 but right, right. But what I'm saying is this: is that for all we know, whoever it was that could have did some things to her, very well may still be working at the network. So uh, all she right. did, so so the cycle just is just maybe keep continuing. Now, in hindsight, mm -hmm. with her putting this book out there and not saying names, it very well make that, let's say that person is still working for it very well may have scared enough to sit there and want to change what they've been doing. But yeah, damage right. is already done. And since you never said the name, we have no idea who the person is. I mean, because right. of this whole thing with Drake. Well, you can't Drake, say you don't have no idea. We have an idea. Well, she insinuated she to him by saying the creator. And, and Dan Dan is the creator of all those shows. I agree. So, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is that like what if there's other what if there's other others that were doing the exact same thing? And the thing with Drake, you only know about what happened with Drake because Drake himself said it. It very right. well may have been rumored, but if he didn't, if he didn't say anything, we wouldn't know anything about him. You know, no, we wouldn't know anything about him, but she didn't know either. No one knew his his name was redacted mm. from all of. The, I got right. No, I, I understand. Right, I said, but so, I understand. But what I'm saying is that this woman, she knows specifically who who was doing things, and you wrote a book where where you are saying that I want to speak my truth. But what truth did you really speak? Because you didn't drop any names, and you're obviously, unless you're still saying, "Well, I got to worry about being blackballed because if I say people's names, no one's going to work work with me." Well, no well, one's looking to work with you now, anyway. I mean, not not well, to be not a, to be crass, yeah. but that's. The I truth. mean, it's a lot of things, and plus, the book was a little more personal too. I mean, the book is called "I'm Happy My Mother." Yeah, yeah. You know yeah what I mean? So it it was a little personal too that had to do with. The stuff that the way you know, which once again, which bringing it back to the documentary, these parents, some of these parents need to be, take accountability. Oh, yeah. they need to take a lot. Going on oh, with yeah. the accountability. Kids, you know, yeah. because right. you think about it, Drake Bell. We we talk about him again. His father, who was on top of things, who was looking out for him on set. They what they do is, and 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 Heaven Hollywood can attest to it because he took his young daughter patients to an audition and they tried to separate them right there. So yeah, what they do I just they met try, him. They, yeah. They, and he just met him. They turn you against, they try to turn you against your parent. say your parent is going to be problematic uh, because and it's going to hurt your career. You know, they probably telling them, we got a, we got your own show lined up for you. But, you know, your father, he asked, you know, he pokes around. He asked me questions. He's he very wants problematic. you to go to school. He's going to hurt you. He wants you to go to school. Right. They you want you to do this. And what do they do? They talked him into telling the mother, I don't want him to be my uh, uh, manager anymore. Father gets taken off the case. And next thing you know, this happens to him. The mother right. decides to let him. You decide to let your son sleep over the house of a production person, not even above the line, below the line production person. <laughs> like, right. Wait, you know, is that an executive? It ain't a director. It ain't the producer. It ain't, it's one of the freaking whatever the hell he was. He was like a PA. You know, well, Peck was a, a, a acting coach. That's what he was or something like that. Yeah. You know, he played the pickle man and all that. I mean, that's a weird ass uh uh, all together. together. Anyway, I mean, together, to, yeah, the something. doc, the doc, and getting back to the doc, the doc in itself, yes, it does, it does hurt Nicolin, but but what it does is, a lot of people, these things that came out, they didn't remember. This already happened, and people knew that this happened. They just didn't know that it was Drake Bell. Yeah. Um. He, and. What everyone was looking for, mostly, like I said, if you go online and stuff like that, most of those complaints was about um, Dan Snyder. But, and then I hear a lot of people saying, and I, I we we talk about this off camera. A lot of people saying, "Well, what about Ariana Grande? You know, she had the power to to bring Dan Snyder down. We know she knows stuff because." You know, she was his fave, and 
And then the other girl, um, what's what's her friend? Amanda, uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Oh, oh no, you talking about um um uh, what's her face? Uh, Liz Liz yeah. Gillies. Yeah, Liz. Right. Yeah. So, and and then somebody made a very good comment. Um, they said, you know, maybe Ariana's traumatized. You know, her trauma, her trauma is not for your entertainment. You know, pe people just want to see the, the, you know, oh, Ariana should say something. You know, she, her trauma is not for your entertainment. And and then you have, you have Liz Gillies, who's pretty much married her groomer. You really think she's going to say something ab about Dan Schneider? She, she got. That might bring up stuff about her husband. Yeah. That, that's going to, right. That's going to bring her husband into it. She married her groomer. The the guy that was was a producer, Dan Schneider's friend, he was a producer on Victorious when when Elizabeth Gillies was fifteen years old, and um, and he he now then when she got twenty five or twenty six, she married the state. She married the guy. She started dating him publicly uh, when she turned nineteen. But we all know that chances are. He was dating her. He was, they were in, intimately involved before that. Chances are, I mean, supposedly she moved in with moved him. into his house. He, she was saying she's she got a crush him. on him, you know. So that's him, Michael Corcoran. Michael Cor Corcoran, right? Yeah, so he ended up marrying this dude. He's 21 years old than her. She met him on the set of Victorious when she was 15 yeah. and he was 36. Yep, yep. So She's not going to say anything. Um, Ariana Grande, a lot of the reasons of a lot of the, the, uh, of the lot of way that she was moving in the room, a lot of rooms she got in was because of Dan Schneider. Mm -hmm. So we yeah. don't really know what type of how much um, influence or how much he affected yeah. where she is right now. You really yeah. think yeah. she's going to oust him? She still follows him on really social think? media. She still tweets right. at him, calls him all oh, the genius, and you're a genius, and you're this. She's not ousting yeah. that dude, and and that just goes yeah. to show what I said before about they're not going to oust their legends. This guy's legendary on Nickelodeon. They're yeah. not going to out. Look how they got rid of him. They know all of these Quietly. cases. What? Well, yeah, right. You look. You see how all they knew all these cases about him and all the complaints, and they yep. just said, "We're gonna do this. We're gonna make this. Um, we're gonna part ways." They, they. I heard they gave him about seven to ten million dollars, so yep. they're paying him to go away. To go away, and 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 we'll say it is a miss a missable split. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, so no, that's 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 what it is, and yeah, you you think it's a coincidence that Liz Gillies is is now you know she went on to get pretty much a starring role in the Dynasty show, and you know yeah. Ariana Grande's. Uh, you think it's a uh, you know they always they talked about how the last season of last season or season of two of Victorious Victoria Justice w wasn't even in a lot of the episodes. Yeah, and, and, and there was rumors that she that she yeah. declined his advances. Yes, yes, that and, she declined his advances, and they kind of focused everything on what a surprise Ariana Grande and Elizabeth Gillies and Liz Gillies and and Victoria Justice was the star of the show. It was her show. It was named after her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was named after her. Here's a good oh. comment that Kizzy sixteen put in. Said, uh, sometimes people are more interested in a spectacle than the actual justice. That yep. is, uh, that is one of the best comments that Absolutely. I've read. The, that's one of the best comments I've read. They don't, they, most of them don't, most of them could care less about the justice because yeah. if, you, if it was all about the justice, you would care about the justice for the little people too. But you don't care about the justice for the little people. You don't care about the justice for the people who, just like I said about that guy, I was making a joke out of it, but it's sad. No, the dude went on and told the whole world he was abused and nobody gave a damn because they didn't know who the guy was. Um, uh, Corey 
Feldman. This oh, guy Corey went Feldman. poured his heart out to America. He he yeah. was <laughs> it took him years to come up with it. And he said, Oh, I got raped. I got raped by I'm just I'm just thinking of a name. Uh Dick Dick Greg Dick Johnson. And everybody's like, Ooh. Eh, turn the channel. Who cares? Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like he it's like he he didn't even say anything because no one cared about it. Mm -hmm. Because no one knew who the guy was. Now, if he would have came on and said Steven Spielberg or Stephen King, yeah. then you know people would have cared. But because he said, people don't care about the justice of it; mm -hmm. they care about the spectacle. Like, like, like she said, it was a good point and good word. That's what they care about. Which is a shame, because you know, uh, no matter what this person, whoever it is that Feldman named. You know, uh, yeah, no one cared because he wasn't famous enough. It right. wasn't it wasn't enough of a spectacle. The guy he named wasn't famous enough. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this this is just uh, that's bad. But yeah, so back to the doc. So the doc really kind of what what the documentary did was lay out a history of abuse and inappropriate behavior yeah that documentary hurt i don't care what they yeah. said they could try to act unbothered <laughs> all they want that was a blow because it show i mean what are the chances three accused sex offenders working for nickelodeon yeah accused and convicted sex offenders working for under the same roof um in different and they went from from generation to generation, decade to decade of different casts. And of course, they tacked in the toxic and abusive behavior from Schneider, from other people, mostly from Schneider when it came to that. Um, you know, his uh, sexes, uh, some people said racist. Uh, you know, it was like everything, all of those words, those are all hot key words. Those are words you don't want to be associated with. All right. Oh, sexist, racist, things like that. And then, then of course, pedophile. You definitely don't want to be associated with these words. So these are words that are, I believe they are, because now it, it they haven't dropped it. The aftermath is now coming. You even have actors that, like the actors from Boy Meets World, that they're catching flack because they wrote letters in support of Brian Peck. Yep. They were one of like almost 40 different people, family and friends, that wrote letters of su in support of him. And uh, which is two sides to that. I know that they still didn't know who the accused was or who was the accuser was, the victim. Uh, but that shouldn't matter if, you know, but... They were just basically, you know, some of them went, even the, the woman from uh from Family Ties that played the mother, she went she went and actually said she went as far as saying, you know, he must have been provoked, like victim blaming. <laughs> you know, like, you know, I don't believe he would do anything this you know, heinous and without wow. being provoked or or tempted. So now it's the victim's fault. <laughs> you know? Wow. And she, that's crazy. I, I I will add that she did, um, you know, they added it into the documentary before the documentary came out, which they all knew the documentary was coming out and they were going to be what they said was going to be exposed. They she did go on to say that she she wrote the letter on the misinformation. Had she knew what she knew now, she would have never wrote the letter in support of him. Blah blah blah, trying to clean it up, basically. Um. Same thing with the Boy Meets World dudes, the dude who played, I can't think of their names right now. Ryder Strong is one of them. And then the other guy, oh, he, play, oh, he oh, played. Oh, oh, real, real quick, real quick, I'm going to cut you off, but, th but this is something I was trying to remember the other day, too. I, I, I finally found it. So this came out, of course, after the doc. So the former The Haunted Hathaway star, Um, her name is Amber Frank. Mm -hmm. She said computers at Nickelodeon had child porn on them. 
Hmm. Should the former child star from The Haunted Hathaway's Emma Frank says the computers they were provided at Nickelodeon contained child sexual abuse images. Hmm. Um, and then that was, unfortunately, no one is surprised by this claim, especially when the disgraced studio has been found to harbor pedophiles such as Jason Handy and Brian Peck. Hmm. So Jason Handy, I guess, was another one. He was one of the other ones, yeah. yeah. Uh, and Brian Peck. Um, yeah, I, I'm reading the headline. It says, there was no investigation after Amanda Bynes and Drake Bell's story. Amber Frank has a disturbing allegation against Nickelodeon. So, yeah, that's pretty much what, what you're talking about, where she says that. And it says, probably signed, this is her quote, Probably signed the NDA after she left Nickelodeon. Ariana Grande's silence on Dan Schneider. That's what she based. That was her. Um, that was her. Uh, uh, quote on Ariana Grande being silent. She said she probably signed the NDA after she left Nickelodeon, which I'm sure she probably did. Um, right. She all. She also. Um, yeah, she has a lot of shit. Here's another quote. Nickelodeon sent computers is what you just said. Nickelodeon sent computers over to production when we were starting filming the show. And when they were turned on, there were child there was child porn on them. Nobody was held accountable. There was no investigation. It's beyond heartbreaking to know that a company that was employing children failed miserably at protecting them. End quote. So this is this this was what she said. This is her her allegations to that. I mean, it's it it's get it, it's gonna go the rabbit hole is only gonna get deeper. Right. <laughs> and 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 the funny thing is not the funny thing, but you know who's sitting back at this at, at sitting back saying, Yeah, that's right, go over there, pay attention to them, Disney. <laughs> because yeah, they, they, they say, yeah, over there, you know. Yeah, they Stay don't over want to there. <laughs> Somebody over there. made Even a comment they, employed, that they said they employed yeah. Peck. They employed Brian Peck, I think it was, or the other guy. Maybe not Peck, but that other one that was uh, one of the ones that was convicted sex offender. And I think it was yeah. Peck. May have been Brian convicted Peck. Convicted sex sex offender after the fact when he did his first of all, he didn't even get that much time. When he did his little bit of time that they gave him. He actually got a job at Disney, and yeah. he's working for the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, another children's show, another child <laughs> show. Oh my goodness! Like it doesn't stop, you know. It it don't stop, it, you know. <laughs> That's funny. I was say it don't stop. It won't stop. Can't stop. Can't <laughs> stop. Won't stop. No Diddy. No Diddy. No Diddy. No Diddy. <laughs> so, but um. <laughs> Oh, that's so bad. But yeah, man, um, it just gets worse and worse. Uh, and then who is this here? This is a quote from. Is this a quote from? From Nickelodeon. So though we cannot collabor corroborate or ne negate uh, uh, allegations or behaviors of productions decades ago, Nickelodeon, as a matter of policy investigates all formal complaints as part of our commitment to fostering a safe and professional workplace environment free of harassment and other kinds of inappropriate conduct our highest priorities are well-being and the best interests not just our employees cast and crew but all children and we have adopted numerous safeguards over the years to help ensure we are living up to our own high standards and the expectations of our audience. End quote. That's and sure I said you that are. with such sarcasm in my voice for obvious reasons. But yeah, that was the most <laughs> uh <laughs> that had to be the most basic statement. That's the, that that that's a copy and paste statement. They just copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste, sent that to every news outlet. Right, possibly. we're protecting our people. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, uh, you know, again, we're we're gonna see if any, um, anything else comes out. I don't. I like I said, I don't 
I don't expect. So that's, first of all, he hadn't been on the show in years, mm-hmm. and whatever, whatever deal they worked out with him, I'm sure, you know, <clears throat> covered him for anything in the future. And on top of that, mm-hmm. the guys that are actually to complain about the assault don't don't pencil in the fact that the one guy's like, oh, he's a good guy. You know, I have no problem with Dan Snyder. Yeah, that's a few of them that if, are going if, to you, say that. You got to expect. Yeah, that. if you're if you're waiting on Dan Snyder to be taken down, you you might as well stand on your head because I I just don't see it happening. Me neither. I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening either because number one, they don't have enough yet. Now they could still now if they choose to continue to keep digging, like right. they do with the other people. If they try to do that, like they do with the black folks that get it, it, it right. and stuff, right. if they continue to dig, 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 maybe they'll come up with something. Maybe someone will come out with have the courage to come out against him, or what have you. Speaking of Diddy, and yeah, we did cover that already, uh, Kizzy. But um, di- <laughs> speaking of Diddy and Dan Snyder, you know, th- th- there's a there's a circulating clip of Diddy on all that when he was a uh, yeah he was yeah. a special guest on all that, and they're like, oh, Diddy on all that. All right, here we go, and, you know, on Nickelodeon. Yeah, he's, he's, he's only on there once, but but I but right. no, it's, yeah, it's, that's it's it, ironic. Whatever, <laughs> it's like listen. This, it's just ironic because that's I mean Diddy didn't write that skit. It, oh, right. He had to stick yeah, something down ironic. his pants and all this other stuff. No, they they had to stick something down the kid's pants and this, that, and the other. <laughs> Diddy didn't write that segment, man. He was just in it. So just once again, they they're fo- they're focusing on Diddy instead of Snyder, who who ran the show. So. Right. Exactly. That, so that's that's that shows you right there where everybody's heart and minds are. You got two people that very well can be guilty of all allegations that they're being uh, alleged of, but the but of course the bur- black urban community they're focusing on taking down Diddy. They're not even really looking at Snyder like that. And you know it is what it is. Like I said, but. Dan Snyder is uh I don't think nothing's gonna happen to him for sure. Sorry, I don't think nothing's gonna happen to him. You know, um someone said, you know it will always divert the attention to the black people. Yeah, but the the I the black people help. <laughs> but it's the black people that, that help with that. That help divert that unfortunately. Attention. Unfortunately, that's that's how it is. Because we You're could right. easily They're just we could it. easily just say, until you, until you uh, arrest Kevin Spacey, leave me alone. You know what I mean? Yeah. We we could easily say that, but we don't because we we want to see. Uh, sad to say, we want to see our people drag just as bad as white people want to see it. Yeah, I don't understand. Why. I don't know why, but know why we either. do. <laughs> We want to see yeah. our people drag probably worth like like I always tell people, white people had let R. Kelly off. R. Kelly was <laughs> off. He went through the court. <laughs> white, white people <laughs> acquitted him. It was black people that dragged them back down with the documentary. That was black people on the documentary. It was black yeah. people that 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 uh uh, Tasha K that became a big part of the investigation that got him locked up. I mean, so <laughs> my point is not and and not saying he didn't deserve to be locked up. That's not my point. My point is, why can't y'all just let white people get him? Let the <laughs> white people drag him down. Why? Why y'all gotta because help? They won't serve because our people won't. up because they won't. That's why. In most cases, they won't. Well, it all depends on what that. It all depends on what their, their what the what the stakes are for them. They went after Bill Cosby because he was a threat. Right. Wait. So, say, threat wait. Wait. Them. Say that part. Say that part again. Say that part right. again. Yeah. For exactly. the people in the blue chase. Right. They they went after Cosby because Cosby was a threat to their infrastructure to all you know their establishment. So yep. that's why they went hard on him. Hard on Bill. You know. Yeah, they went hard on the white Bill. people was going hard on Bill. 
They want they yeah. want him up out of there because you know he's a threat. R. Kelly by that time wasn't a threat no more, so they they, they could care less. They didn't Someone care less said, about about R. Kelly. Kizzy said, "Question: So what happened to Me Too? You know that that's a good question. Your guess is good as mine. Exactly. Where's the Me Too movement? Where'd they go? Exactly. <laughs> Why aren't exactly. they in on this whole situation with Snyder and Nickelodeon? Sure. Why are they not leading any charges? They've had their moment in the sun." And now, all of a sudden, they done disappeared into thin air. Disappeared, uh, uh, disappeared like HIV. Remember when HIV yeah. was out? <laughs> you know, well, well, here's what I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why they disappeared. Here's why they disappeared. They disappeared because first and foremost, they stole that whole slogan from a black woman who was who was yeah. doing. I think she she that that whole thing started with her. And and people in shelters. She's the one who started that that movement. It was it was a low key movement. It wasn't nothing that was public. The, right. the white woman took that and blew it up and made it into you know what they made it into. And then when they felt like they got all the justice that they felt that they got once they got Weinstein, Epstein, and yeah, all the other yeah. things. Once they got them bagged up, it was like okay, nothing else to talk about. Go back to normal. Yep. Right. And that 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 was the most that was the most you were gonna see, and that's the most you are seeing was that. I mean, Roman Polanski, we talked about that last week. He's still making films to this day. He's just in yeah. another country, and people are still people from this country who knows what he did and why he left the country, they still making films with him. So, mm -hmm. you know, there it there you go. You know, uh so these are the things. Woody Allen been walking around forever. Ain't nothing happened to Woody Allen. Nothing he's happened. Nothing that he's done. <laughs> you know what I mean, so Kevin Spacey. Like, and, and it's like I said, nothing happened to Kevin Spacey. They they look at you. If if I ask you, if, if I ask people how many cases Diddy got, everybody can tell me. If I ask you how many cases Trump got, I bet you know none of y'all know. How many sexual assault <laughs> cases Trump got? I bet you can't. None of y'all tell me. Not not the None ones you can that tell are following these situations, but yeah, got, and that, he got that's what it is. And, and, I'll put and, I'll put it to you like this: He got more claims against him did than everybody Diddy put together. and R. Kelly put yeah. together. Mm -hmm. All of them put together, all of them put together. Yeah. So but, I mean, but yet he's he's and he ain't spent a up. minute in jail. Right, right. He's still set up to be the the next president. Be the president. The all right, yeah. this this is how twisted our country is. But anyway, regardless of the fact, um, you know, I think o overall about this particular documentary, and we'll wrap the segment up. We'll go into the next one, but um, it definitely was a a hit. Uh, right. a hit meaning they taken a blow from it. Um, and we'll and we'll have to see what happens. Have to, we'll have to we'll see have if to see if more how, come out yeah, or more people. Something else gets out. now. Now something like these allegations that this young lady said. I'm wondering. See, I don't know how this is going to really fly because you can't you can't prove this happened years ago, decades ago. Right. So unless someone kept one of those computers, which you know they didn't. I don't know how that's going to help anything, you know what I mean, like as far as investigation wise. And, you know, I don't like to look like I'm, you know, coming down on, on alleged victims for, you know, speaking up so late. But so what happened is, you know, Drake Bell finally came out and said what he said. And I mean, I felt sorry for that young man, you know, I yeah. felt really bad for him. He went through a lot and let's, let's, let's keep it a buck as men. That's a very hard topic to discuss with anybody, let alone the entire world. That's why he didn't tell his father. That's why he didn't, you know, he didn't want to tell his father. He couldn't. He couldn't tell his father, you know. So, I mean, uh, I feel I felt bad for him. I still feel bad for him. And, uh, you know, I hope I hope he finds some, you know, some sort of. Uh, resolution or oh, i mean his resolution was supposedly this guy going to jail the guy went, guy got slapped on the wrist because of so many people that came forward for him and kind of like vouched for him prominent names 
of people. But that's what know. listen. But that's what. But that's what happens every time white people are put up one. And I'm sorry to make this a race thing, but it is. Every yeah. time the paler well, complexion is is up on the stand for some craziness, unless they did like some crazy heinous mass murder, Jeffrey Dahmer, uh, right. what's his face type, you know, murders. Yeah. Yeah, out, outside of that, you know, once you make relationships in Hollywood, everybody's going to come to your defense because they can't believe that, oh, he did that? Oh, he yeah. did that? Oh, how could, no, I can't believe that. And then, and then they, they pull the, 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 the defendant pulls the okie doke on people and gets these letters without really telling them exactly what he's going for. He, you know, he's yeah. probably telling them, oh, you know, it's they some, it's some, exactly. yeah, they it's, 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 it. yeah, yeah, exactly. It's so, it's, oh, they just trying to get me for some BS, you know, you, you know how the system is, you know, so I'm, 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 I'm probably not going to beat it, but, you know, I would like to get, a, you know, a letter of recommendation. And now you look nuts because you don't wrote a letter to the court. That's why when, um, who is that who recently went to court? Um, I think Danny it was, was it, what, what was it, Weinstein or one of them? And Masterson, um, I what Masterson was it? Him probably went when when uh Ashton Kusher and them wrote their letters. Ashton yeah, Kutcher and his wife wrote the letter yeah. of uh of reference to about Danny Masterson. But I I'll say this with that, it's a little different because they weren't victim blaming. They weren't right. saying they were just saying I know <laughs> him to be a good guy. And, uh, you know, whatever his mistakes that he's made, they were mistakes, blah, blah, blah. Like, th their 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 letter was more or less like, we know what he did and he has to pay for it, but he's not an evil person at the core. Show him mercy. That's basically what that letter was saying. That's different from saying he would never do anything like that. Thing like that, right. Provoked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Being provoked. Like, what? So Drake Bell provoked but, him or tempted him. Yeah, but wasn't it wasn't it somebody where they 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 took their they, they got the letter and they they went and took it back or something like that? Well, that was what I was saying. Uh, the woman from uh, I can't remember her name, but she played the mother on Family Ties, and it was her, she, right? It was her. She um she's the one that uh she didn't redact what she said, but she wrote she knew this was coming out, so she wrote something. That was basically kind of like redacting what she said, saying if I'd known what mm -hmm. I knew now, I would have never wrote this letter. I was misinformed, basically. So that was her way of cleaning it up, so to speak. So, so the doc is out, and we'll see where it goes from there. As we said, as the Diddy stuff continues. If it continues while we are uh, on the air, we'll bring more news to you. I want to say before I have in Hollywood, if he just before he decides to get out of here, um, uh, jumping over to Hulu for the Freak Nick. Uh, oh, Freak I forgot Nick, to watch that this weekend. Um, uh, documentary, right? Yeah. Uh, my big, my biggest question is this: <laughs> you know, probably what I'm about to say. Is the Freak Nick just another positive black event that just got ruined by ignorant black people? Black people, yeah. No, that's exactly what it is. Hey, yep. there, there's no, there's no question about that. That's been said for decades. Like, <laughs> like that, that. There is no, there is no question about that. If Freak Nick was a nice little thing, just like, just yeah. like going down to Maryland. You remember people yeah. used to? It, it was, it, it, it was, it was a. Uh, Greek it used to be a trend. It used to be, it used to be. What was that? What was that up here in New York? Have um that we had at Jones yeah, Beach? What was that called again? Oh, the, like the, the Greek fest. The Greek fest. The Greek fest. fest. We had the yeah. Greek fest in Jones Beach, and this is this is how the summer started. It was Greek yeah. fest in Jones Beach. It was something mm -hmm. else in Maryland, and then Freaknik, or it was the reverse or something like that. But it was, yeah. it, it it was like it like it was like a trend. Like you, yeah. it was almost yeah, like yeah. A, like like every year it was like oh, you you hit yeah. Jones Beach, then you went down to Maryland, then it was something else, then it was Freaknik, and then yeah, uh, yeah. when Phil, the spring Philly, time came, Philly right. the Greek Philly with the Greek picnic. Greek yeah, picnic. that's um, right. That's the other yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, it was in Philly and Greek picnic. Yeah. 
and the freak nick start, started and, and one thing i'll take away from the doc um was that i did find out which i did not know that they had the original people who started the, the original african-american brothers and sisters who started the the, the uh freak nick yeah. And they actually said it started in the 80s. It didn't start in the 90s. They started 90, yeah, in the 80s. 80s yeah. And it was yeah. only like 50 it was people. like six or seven of them. And they oh, said yeah. their first started, freak yeah. nick was only like less than 30 people. Yeah. That, you exactly. know what? And you, then you, you, you I know felt bad for them, man, because I felt bad for them because they're like they 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 almost felt like it was their fault when they saw what it became. Yeah, you know what I mean, and it was just—it was a good yeah. doc, though. It was, it was, it was a great a good documentary. Doc. If you get a chance to watch it, check it out on Hulu. Uh, the Freak Nick. And another thing I'll say is, I have to say it: <laughs> it didn't seem to get corrupt and crazy till Luke got involved. <laughs> yep, sorry, Luke. Dude, yeah, sorry, Luke. Just... <laughs> Soon as Uncle Luke got involved, he said, "Hey, it's called Freak Nick." Freak so Nick. So I'm freaky. bring the freaks. We're going to bring the freaks out and then make it freaky because it really was. It was one of those things where girls were walking around and yeah, you might've flirted with somebody and even some cats, people were hooking up with, with other people, girls right. were hooking up with guys. Yes. But it did. It, it wasn't to the point where guys were just disrespectful and ripping, disrespecting them, off, ripping their clothes and, off, and fingering them off and, and try, Yeah. Stuff like that. Yep. It did not force them himself till, on them. Right. till after, Luke got involved, and you know I'm not putting it all on Luke. I'm just saying after he kind of he bought that the energy dynamic, he bought that energy to it. Yeah, of yo, let's freak. Now you got girls that are doing more freaky stuff, wearing more freaky clothes. Wearing it went from Daisy Dukes to booty cutters. Yeah, if, if people uh, know what the booty cutters were, <laughs> you know it went from Daisy Dukes to booty cutters, right? So basically, so, Miami coochie, coochie just cutters. Came, Miami, coochie cutters, yeah, coochie yeah, yeah. cutters, really. Yeah, yeah, Miami just came. Miami just brought themselves to, to Atlanta. It was like, hey, this is what we do. But unfortunately, you got the you you got the trying to find I'm trying to find some nice words to say. Um, but you got the jackasses, for lack of a better phrase, who don't know how to act, no home training. Ain't never gonna get a girl. Can't get a girl. <laughs> ain't, ain't nobody looking at them. So you, you got to be out here doing the extra. You know, you, you grabbing yeah. up on chicks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you you touching on like it's high school. Like oh, look at all yeah. it. Like you in a candy store. Like you like your mama got to walk with you now, boy. When we get in this store, don't you touch nothing. <laughs> boy, when you go like a freak, Nick, don't you touch nobody. Don't you be out there touching the girls. And what you do? You go to the store begging, reaching and asking for shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, and and and, and Nala, Nala Glass. Another says, great comment Nala by Glenn, Nola. Another great comment. Yeah, she said, I went to about three freak nicks. I'm going to check out, check it out. Sucks that we as black people can't come together without a negative influence threat, uh, you know, tearing it down. Yes, I I agree. I agree 100 yep. that there without a negative and um yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm. I'm. A, I'm gonna check that out again. Now let's see. If we see you on there. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you said you, you got three of them. Was mm. you at one of them on on that program? Uh huh. Did you? You might want. You might want to. You might want to take a peek at going, it and, and make sure you ain't on there first. Yeah. You, <laughs> you know they said the road? same thing. They said the same Did thing you? to people on, on the on the uh, on the Breakfast Club. When they uh when they like last year like I think it was like November or something they were talking with somebody uh about the documentary and they was like mm -hmm. they was like yeah we we hope you know some of y'all grandmas out there some of y'all and y'all some of you aunties I tell you man I said <laughs> and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a seg I'm a gotten segue but I said when when they said about the freak Nick. They, they said 94 freak i said freak nick doc um i'm pretty safe if they do a uh, if they do a greek fest doc i might be in trouble oh, it's a wrap <laughs> it's a wrap it's a wrap <laughs> i'm it's safe so i ain't never been to a freak nick i'm safe with the freak nick Woo. shout if out they do a greek fest doc oh boy 
Shout out to my cousin Anthony. We are we gonna both run and hide if they do a freak uh, a Greek fest. <laughs> yeah, listen. Oh my God, I yeah. don't have to run and hide. I don't West, have to run and West hide. I ain't doing like... My man used to work out there at the West Bath House. Who Lord? <laughs> Jesus Greek Christ fest was a movie. <laughs> Yeah, it, was, it really, it really was. I mean, I, I was just out there. I was just out there for the. Uh, we, we was mostly out there for the cars, and 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 the, and, and the chicks, because everybody brought. Man, their it used out. to be so much fun, man. That's you can yo, walk on the on the man. Parkway. You can get off and walk. And yeah, the Parkway would get backed up. You could and you could walk. you could literally walk. It was a long walk, but you could literally walk, walk down there because they yeah, made sure yeah. they stuck. And you know what? That was the other thing that was jacked up about Greek Fest. They made sure. That they stuck because you you know what the West End Beach is used for really, the West End Beach of Jones Beach is really used at nighttime for stargazing because the 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 light uh the light pollution is really low so you can see the stars really well from that end of the beach. Yeah, don't nobody, don't nobody really regularly go to that end of the beach because it's so far. That's why they stuck all of us down there. Everyone, all of them down there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah we wasn't Dolly, nowhere. We wasn't she nowhere said, near the main entrance. She you said, have to. I gotta go check it out. Yeah, you better, you better check before you know. <laughs> before you start I, it. I, I got a feeling that's gonna be the next thing that's coming up because there's gotta be footage out there. Oh, there Greece. is because the people I used to go, we used to, like I I yeah. know that uh, a lot of people that, that, that people I went with they still got footage. Yeah, that, that was taken for you. It's gonna be VHS footage, but it's the same thing with Freaknik. Yeah. Same thing. You with just Freaknik. transfer it over. Or they yeah. was actually on the Freaknik doc. They was actually showing the actual VHS footage. Pretty cool. Yeah, they were. They was actually yeah, showing, they showing the actual the VHS. VHS footage. And and high. There was some high eight footage. VHS. It was all that stuff. There was also that was back. We used to have the. They used to have the high eight cameras. The little hand yeah. quarters that that the little tapes like this big. And they put it in there, and of course, the VHS joints, the joints that went on your shoulder, like yeah, big cameras that went on your shoulder, VHS uh recorder cameras. I'm telling you, it's uh, it, it was a really good documentary. And I, I do want to say this I'm really uh, I do feel bad uh, that you know, um, not, not feel bad, but shout out to the people that started it. It was a positive event, it was originally something that they yeah. started, they had them on the too. dock too, which was nice. Yes. Oh, they had the they original really people had, on the had, dock. Absolutely. Original yes. I, that was yeah. that was nice. That was beautiful. And they said, you know, because you have those surrounding colleges here in Atlanta. You got uh Clark Atlanta, Spellman, yeah. Morehouse, all of those, and they're all in the same like that's a triangle what it, yeah. of it, mm -hmm. right? And and they were all kind of that that's why it was started. And how it leaked out to everyone else is because in the colleges, they used to have groups that were called state groups right so you know everyone would perform they would uh uh they would create their own groups based on their state so you had a new york group you had a you know philly and this other or so that's how it got out but like i said for the first what how many years you know two three years it was pretty yeah, cool yeah. well they you know cool. you know they, they they touched on that in uh in bmf in in last yeah, season of BMF, they when they mm. first got down to Atlanta, they, they touched on that. When right. they, when they, they, it, it was yeah. a, it was a brief mention of of yeah. of, of Greek Fest, and they kind of sort of like think just by the mentioned. time BMF came down there, it was already turned. <laughs> it was already turned up. No, but with the but with, but the way they made it look in BMF, they didn't make it look turned up. They, right. they made oh, it look yeah, like yeah. it was this like it was still like the this early nineties. And show them there's footage of them. It's probably because it's their footage, but there's I've seen it. There's footage of them at at uh, Freak Day. Wow. Right. Really? Uh, 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 yeah. yeah. There's footage so, of wow. each in them. But but I think now they, I think of it, BMF too. BMF probably got down there before that because remember, yeah, Freak, um, Freak, yeah. Freak Nick didn't get wild into the two it, things yeah. that ruined. Freaknik, Luke, mm. and the Olympics. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Majorly the Olympics. Once the Olympics got, once Atlanta got the Olympics, then white people started poking. They know they were they wasn't caring before, but nope. now that the city got the Olympics, up until that point, what's Freak going Nick on? Why is there so many black people all of a sudden? Right. You know what up I mean? So, that point, so, Freaknik yeah. was making them millions of dollars. That's why they wasn't saying that the, the city was making millions of dollars. Behind freak, yep, 
at first. And then, sure. but now that's nothing compared to the money that you make when you have, when you host the Olympics. Host the Olympics. And, and on top of that, now the world is turned their eye to your city. To Atlanta. And, yep. Yeah. There, there's a, there's a new prestige that comes with that. And, and, uh, you know, that's how it is. So now, even now you could drive downtown now and see the, the, you know, the rings from the, uh, where they hosted the Olympics, you can go there. That's like a tourist attraction now. Right. You can go so, there to so. the area where they hosted the, the Olympics. So it's now once you once you do that, now the world opens a well, so that's why they started detouring folks like nah nah nah. You can't get off this exit. We don't want some yeah. niggas over. Don't don't be messing yeah. up the Olympics now. Yes, keep it moving. <laughs> they, they had they had a dude out there with, with the with the uh with the runway lights. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, nope, keep going that way. <laughs> and the wrap it up box. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up. We just had the wrap it up box. Like, okay, let's wrap this up now. All right, but, like, but I'm gonna I'm get up out of here. I thank y'all for having me on, man. All right, man. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, listen. Yes, hey, hey, listen, man. Uh, I just, I just wanted to start because I can't. Never, I be trying to call you. I can't never call you. Um, yo. Yo, great job, man! Over the last couple of weeks, with the uh, w you know, with the, with the heavy ho heaven Hollywood report, man. Um, yo, you, you, you doing, it, man. You, 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 you're doing your thing over there, man. I, re I really yeah, appreciate. Yeah, man, that. give That's me a call way. whenever. Get my, uh, I, I'll shoot you my number. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah make, sure, wanna... make sure you guys follow Heaven Hollywood if you haven't. Obviously, you check back here on the IE Network where he does his Heaven Hollywood reports, his videos. The man is constantly reporting actual factual stuff. Actual and facts. He, right, right, actual facts as opposed to click baking. I mean, we can always do that if we wanted to. It's very easy yeah. to just yeah, make yeah, a right. lie. See, anybody can make just, something up, you know? Anybody make a you know, lie to make. I don't see how that's, there's, there's no skill in that. Making up a lie to get a click. I mean, you could just do that to make the money. But, you know, uh, the bottom line is, we have certain, you know, we, we don't, you know, it's integrity behind it. You know, we, we come from, a, remember, we did block TV. We did other, you know, we, we always had integrity. We never, we was always in good with all the celebrities and, and, and stuff like that because we were not paparazzi. So, right. you know, it's very easy to do that. Just like it's very easy to go put a camera in somebody's face. That's just like what they did the other day. You know, I don't know how long ago it was, but when, when they freaking pushed uh, Tom Hanks' wife by accident trying to, you know, get it. You know, we didn't do that stuff. People came to our camera right. and talked and, and, mm -hmm. and, and dropped, said what they had to say. They came to us. We didn't go to them. So, um, yeah, check out Heaven Hollywood stuff, man, and, and definitely we appreciate you joining us. If you get any other information, pop back in, let us know. Uh, if, if you know, as this breaking thing going on with Diddy, you know, make sure you uh, you pop back in and let us know or send us a, a message or something. We appreciate yeah, you. Right. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the lemons for the juice. Yeah, all right, and, guys. Uh, love you guys, <laughs> man. Thanks a lot. All right, man. Love you, man. All right, peace. All right, bro. And, and we got our guests uh, coming on, going into our next segment. That's the perfect segue. Uh, as we will talk about the uh, the the new remake of uh, Road Roadhouse. Uh, so I swear, I, I felt like going around all week in Roundhouse kicking people, saying Roadhouse, like Peter Griffin was doing, and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man. I tell you, there's a few people I wanted to. The other day when I, I went at uh, where was I at? Um, I was at some food place. You know, you, you already know, Kev. The the problems I have at food places. Man. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, man. I don't I know why this to, brother. And, and, and out usually you're on all. the phone when I'm having problems. I should stop eating out anyway. <laughs> it's not good for me. The food is not good. You know, I should stop eating out. But every time, I usually I'm, I I have some sort of issue with, at a fast food place. I feel like doing like Peter Griffin, getting out my car, giving him a roundhouse, roadhouse. <laughs> you know, you know. And yeah, that's what I should have been doing. But so anyway, the new Roadhouse movie just came out, starring Jake Gyllenhaal. 
also starring uh uh what's his name conor mcgregor his crazy self um and yeah i love uh, something this what we want what we wanted to do was as a matter of fact i'm just going to put the new the new ticker on the bottom it's just going to say roadhouse with a uh <laughs> with an exclamation point. <laughs> Roadhouse. <laughs> Roadhouse. That's all I'm saying, bro. That's all you need. <laughs> but um that uh <laughs> yeah, so it came Oh out no, you gotta like say it. Roadhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Griffin voice, Roadhouse. So um it came out. We watched it. I don't know if you guys watch it. If you if you didn't, it is on um it's on Amazon Prime. So you give Prime, check Prime it out. Video. Yeah, Prime Video. Starring Jake Gyllenhaal. Obviously, we cut, wanted to compare fight sequences to the original. We have a special guest. He's in the green room now. We're gonna bring him on. Uh, a gentleman who is no, uh, he's definitely familiar with fight sequences and <laughs> and uh, fight scenes and choreography and, su- and such. Uh, a gentleman is a actor. He's a stunt player. Uh, he's a martial artist. You know what I mean? So a uh, former bounty hunter. <laughs> he's, he's the fall guy, pretty much. So uh, <laughs> let's get our boy, David Chen. <laughs> he's in the building. What's up, bro? You know, what's, what's going on, Hey, what's going what's on? Going man? on man? What's going on, man? Welcome back to the show. Yeah, man. That, speaking of fall guy, remember we talked about that. Now look, yep. they done made yep. a freaking fall guy. We can't put these things in the universe, man. <laughs> they go. I, know, that. I, know. <laughs> I haven't seen that yet. I, I, I'll see it one day. I, it's, it's, I don't know. I heard I heard good things about it, but I'm just not interested in seeing that right now. Yeah, that that hurt yo, me. That hurt me, man. When I saw that, I said, "Oh man!" Uh, I was like, "Yo, it's, yo!" It, it's funny that that Dave would say that because th- I think that's kind of the sentiment across the board. Like they made it, and it's like, okay, fall guy, yeah. Um, hmm. <laughs> but they don't oh, okay, see the starring they Ken. See they're going with the exact storyline, but you know they change it a little bit. It seems like because yeah. uh, it's not like he's a bounty hunter. And uh, well, at least they didn't. Right. They didn't indicate that. Nah, in, in, uh, nah he's not a bounty hunter it, in this one. Yeah, yo, but but here's my here's my problem with it. Now with Jake Gyllenhaal, Jake Gyllenhaal fits because he did Nightcrawler and uh uh uh, uh and uh Nocturnal Animals and mm-hmm. you know the type of the type of movies that he's done. He's like uh he's abrasive. He's a little rough. You know, you, you can like he kind of fits the profile, but the Ken doll dude, I keep forgetting his name, uh, La La Land. Uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 yeah, what's his uh, name? Ryan Gosman. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Gosman. Yeah. How, how, how do you get him? How, what is with the Hollywood and trying to turn these? Uh, and, and they're not pretty boy action boys. Like he's the uh, pause, the, the 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 cute pretty boy, like. We don't we don't say pause no more. We say no diddy. They say oh, no, no diddy. diddy. Okay, okay, no diddy. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. No diddy. I, I got to get back outside again. Um, no, no, no. So, so no diddy on that. Um, uh, you know, you know, no, 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 no take that. Um, yeah, uh, but, but, definitely, definitely no take that. <laughs> um, but how do you get? How does Ryan Gosling? He doesn't come. He doesn't. When you say action, he doesn't. It doesn't compute. You know what I'm saying? Right. The, the math is right. the math ain't mathing. Well, <laughs> it, it makes Ryan no Gosling got Ryan Gosling got uh he got some grittiness in his resume. He's done some things. He, yeah, he, had that, yeah, um, he done he's done some things, but it's not. I don't know. It's still not. I don't know. Maybe I, mean, it's I don't really have. I don't have a problem with him. I don't really have a problem with the casting. I'm just wondering where they're gonna go with it with that. And we'll, you know, we'll 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 have a chance. I'm gonna bring David back on when he finally watches it. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm watch, it. watch it, and and uh, get. I definitely want to get. I definitely want to get your opinions on that because of oh. that whole thing is closer. That's closer to us. <laughs> so I, now I have to watch it because it's like they said it's like a it's like yeah. paying homage to stunts. So I'm gonna watch it. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to watch it then. And uh, uh, speaking of which, quick little sidebar. They still haven't added stunts to the Oscars, man. They added a new category to the Oscars for casting. The new new category for Oscars is going to be casting. Still haven't added stunts. I don't know what the hell is on. And they and they and that brief little that brief little listen, I I don't want to take nothing away. They they tried to do something because I guess I guess you know people are really in the air. Like, come on, what about the stunt people? And they just act like it's some like like stunt is acting like that's it's it's a part of the performance. And if you if you're and if you're if if you're coming across with these great performances where people are really in some instances like you you could you could get thrown the wrong way and end up in a wheelchair <laughs> like like literally for the rest of your life and they just That's act true. like ah, it's a stunt and guy the, little, the littlest I things mean, is the stunt you know a push a shove that's a stunt and yeah, you know, the littlest things that people think is little could be a stunt, but I don't realize <coughs> that if they, if they take stunts out of out of films like said so they take all the stunts out of roadhouse it's a boring ass movie. Yeah, it's boring. It's boring. <clears throat> Everything and every movie has stunts. Every movie, every single movie has stunts. Whether it's a bunch of them because it's an action movie, or if it's a, a slap because it's a comedy, it doesn't right. matter. Everyone, right. every movie has, or someone's running and falling because they're running. It's a horror film. It's a slasher film. They're running and falling. Mm-hmm. Everything is a stunt. People don't but, realize that because they're just watching. But that also well, makes uh, y'all doing your job. Well, you know what? Unless you're Burt Reynolds and uh, what's his name? Was it Don DeLuise? That used to they used to be smacking each other for real. Oh yeah, <laughs> Cannonball Run. Cannonball Run, baby. Yeah, Cannonball yeah. Run. <laughs> One of my favorite movies from back then. So let's talk about Ooh. Roadhouse, man. Roadhouse. Let's uh <laughs> talk about. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> So now, <laughs> the new Roadhouse with Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, Conor McGregor. First thing, obviously, I know you've seen it because I think you had actually put a little take on it on Facebook, which made me want to prompt you to come on and tell me. So what was your overall, just a recap of your overall feeling on the movie itself? We, we, before, wow. we're not comparing it yet. We just just give me the <laughs> overall feeling. I mean, overall feeling, uh, I went into a watch and it not – Compare, not looking to compare. I mean, I have back in mind. You can't help but compare it to the original, but mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It, it was mm-hmm. what it set out to do. It was it was an action pop flick, not to be taken too seriously. Yeah, and it did it well. So I, I enjoyed mm-hmm. what it for what it was worth. And I saw subtle nods to the original. You know, I saw a mm-hmm. lot of different changes. And I don't. I didn't. Never, I was never really a Conor McGregor fan. Still not, mm. you know. Or like, like, I didn't like his personality, but this film made me like him. Yes, because because yeah. he also he also changed as a person too. He also I watched some interviews with him. And he's very calm. He's more humble now. Because yeah. you see, he's an old yeah. league, and he's not the main person. Now. Right. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, but you know, Conor McGregor himself. He's kind of always been a character. You know what I mean? Yeah, in a way, very much. And very what much. he did was. <clears throat> he kind of amped that character up for so, this movie to yeah. two hundred. <laughs> he's yeah. mad, and then decided to to bring that because he's a character in itself. Yeah, you know, he always has been, and right. you know, from the walk, you know that he yeah. has, it, yeah. you know, all mm-hmm. of that, all of that. He's, been, I, I was like, okay, Connor's bringing, he's get, he's bringing the full Connor McGregor package for us. Pause, no Diddy. Um, <laughs> and, um, you know, for us to uh, witness. <laughs> oh, God, this yeah, is like I think of the with, with, with a film like this is that they bring him in, and like when you think of uh, well, well, me personally, I, I think of like watching the fight scenes and how he was able to to get beat and lose, you know, and, and show that. But when you have like the movies like uh, what was Fast and Furious with The Rock and Vin Diesel for it. They had a yeah. they, there was stipulations in their contract where Ben Diesel can only get a certain amount of times, yeah. The rock, you know, like their characters can only have so much stuff happen to them, you know, them, not them looking mm. bad. As kind of was like, all right, this is his first film. He just like whatever, I'm going for it. 
Yeah, he went in. But, uh, it looked like he was involved in a lot of the, you know, uh, as much as you can, I guess, stunts as as him being, you know, um, it, that that what one thing I do want to say is what made the reason why I even wanted to do this as far as comparing the fight sequences is because uh, the camera work I thought was pretty interesting with the fight sequences on this is definitely different completely different from the original uh they they did a lot of in your face pov like kind of make you feel like you was in the fight with them they did a lot mm -hmm. of that type of camera work so, um yeah, how did I you know, feel uh, about that do you like that stuff or i like what they did with it. i know the core the stunt coordinator that worked on it and i know a lot of people that work on the show but on the, the movie. okay so yeah my thing it's hard for me sometimes to watch a film Mm -hmm. And not just start taking the pieces out or like, oh, I know that guy. I know that guy. You know, so like, but um, like I'll I'll say this. The openings, I, I liked everything except the opening fight with uh Post Malone. I, oh, I liked what okay. it was what, what I saw because I knew the guy who doubled Post Malone. Yeah. But I can tell what like when I watched the fight, I was like, before I even knew and double out looking at it, yeah, that looks like somebody else that I know fighting his body, you know, the way he was moving and stuff. But other than that, I, I you know, I thought the fights were good, they, they, but they did a lot of camera tricks. What he was saying, what they were telling me. So like one of my close friends is the guy that, uh, JJ Law fights at UFC. I think his character's okay. name is, um, character's name is Jetway Harris, Jackson Jetway Harris, something like that. But he, his name, his real name is mm -hmm. Jay Ron. He's a, he's a stuntman and an actor. So, what they did with his his scenes and a lot of the fights, they they um they shot it four different ways. Right. So when they were having a fight, now they have like um. I'm hearing feedback. Is that my side or? No, that's. Uh, I you. think that Ralph. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Right. Ralph, so your okay. background. Ralph, your okay. background. Wait, hold on a second. Did you say here? We hear it's it. better now. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, David. Yeah, but what they do with the scenes, um, when you see how they had the in your face fights, like you see the punches coming at the camera. So what they did uh, with that is that they had they had like a um a, um, a mat, and the guy the, the actors were hitting the mat, and they would do they would have that, and then they would have one where they had like a dummy head, and they would they mm -hmm. basically cut all the scenes together. To make it look more like that, so it, uh, yeah, really it, look, it, it looked, it it looked, it was hit. something. Little, it looked a little weird yeah. to me. I didn't know what it, it seemed like, almost a CG fight, a little bit. <laughs> I'm talking, you're talking about the Post Malone, right? The beginning. The part? Well, the po well, the Post Malone one that was kind of CG. They, they, I, they, um, I think they did the CGI face over my man's face because. If you watch at the at the end of that fight, he throws a kick and then he throws his punch, and one of the punches almost looks like a video game character punching. Yeah, I was like, wait a so, second, what's going yeah. on here? But that's pretty yeah. like the only one. Everything else with the fights, I thought were, were excellent. Like the 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 bar fights. Like a lot of people were looking at Connor and, and um, Dalton fight, Connor and Jake Zuma. But if you look back, there's a lot of fights in the background. Yeah, and there's I a lot of the stuff performance in there going in. I even think I saw the coordinator in there fighting a little bit. <laughs> That's good. That's cool. So I definitely, I definitely was digging the um, the way it was. You know, the choreography for it was. <clears throat> now, comparing it to the original. If you uh if you remember the original, I don't know how long ago you. Oh, yeah, I just wa I, wa I just watched it like a day ago. Yeah, me too. I just watched it. Yeah. <laughs> me too. So now I I I enjoyed obviously the fight the fight. There was a lot of that stuff going on too. Obviously the bar fights where there was simultaneous fights yeah. going on in the background. You know, and and a lot of <laughs> there was a lot of stuff going on in that one as well. A lot. A lot. Um, a lot. There was a lot. Uh, it just, I don't know. I want to get your opinion on it. Um, in comparison, we noticed different styles that they did it, especially with the camera work. 
But mm. from a fan standpoint, try to pull yourself out of the work because we know that you, <laughs> right. Right, from right. a fan standpoint, just watching it, what felt better to you fight, fight wise, fight scene wise? I mean, it's for me, it's hard to compare because we talk about a movie that came out in the eighties and then something that's coming out now where the, the whole film is, fighting in films has changed. Fighting period has changed. Like mm-hmm. back in the day when they had to fit, you know, fighting like this or, you know, just even you, you look at the, the fight scene. If you look at the fight scene, um, but like, like Patrick Swayze's fight scenes back in the day, you know, they're choreographed and stuff like that, but they're, it's not, as technical as it is today. So it, I really don't compare them. I mean, I, I tried to like count how many fight scenes versus one film versus the other, but I really don't compare them because to me, it is, it's just like Roadhouse, the original Roadhouse is what it was. This one is just a reimagination of it and it's paying homage to the old one. So I don't really compare them too right. much. Mm. Yeah, I can see that too. <clears throat> I, I, I do. I, I think too. I think. Oh, sorry. What's good? Go ahead. Go ahead, Kev. Oh no, I I think too. Uh, you know, just piggybacking off of what Dave was saying, I think too. Also, like 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 what you were saying, Wes, with the the uh with, with the type of angles and the and your face. You know, back in the day, it was just all angles. You know, shooting down to up, shooting. You know, you had to be positioned this way to make sure that the punch looked realistic. Now right. you can, you know, not with the way, chore- way the way things are choreographed so well, it doesn't really matter. Well, it does matter where you place the camera, but you have a lot more options with how you place the camera, how you look at the fight, how to, you know, how you present the fight to the to the viewer. And also because I think the other thing that helps too is the fact that now we can watch dailies in real time, like they're, they're, they're mm-hmm. you know, right there on set. So if something don't look right, go back and do it again. Mm. And you know we, yeah. we versus you know trying to clean it up and post you know uh, uh, back in the day which they didn't really do that much of because they didn't really do a lot of CGI on fight scenes back in the day not that I know of anyway uh, David you could probably attest more to that than I can um, I, I think that's a, a, a another another part of it so like like you know like you said you can't really compare the two because of the the advancements of technology and just the changing of, yeah. you know, how things are done now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, that's true. I still can compare it because I just, I'm just kind of, <clears throat> obviously uh, I do, like I said, my, my biggest, uh, I think my biggest uh, thing, compliment of the new one is the way they brought us into the fight sequences with the with the you know in your face type of style uh conor mcgregor was definitely this you know amped up bad guy you know Mm -hmm. (laughs) all out of out of all crazy and stuff um so that was cool i guess i didn't like what they i didn't like the the actual guy like that they worked for you know the guy he's like the the bad guy yeah, yeah, it's almost like he's the son of Brad Wesley, right? You know, see, like he's like the that's son of kind Wesley. of. That's kind of what it came off as. It's what it kind of came off. That's what it came, came off. Like it came of, off yeah. like, yeah, it came off like <laughs> Brad Wesley's in jail, and he's the son of Brad Wesley. Um, but, but you know, but obviously in the original Brad Wesley died. But what I don't like is with remakes. I always say this: Come on, bro, can we get a cameo from somebody from the? No, but listen, listen, cameos ain't mm. always necessary, man. Oh, man. Sometimes yeah, you gotta Elliot. Yeah. No, 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 because no. sometimes because that you know what? Because you, let me let me let me tell you why. It may, 10 or 15 years ago, maybe, but now it, it comes off as cheesy when you do a cameo in in a in a in a, in a, in a movie like this. Where it's supposed to be serious, it kind of adds camp to it, you know. Uh, unless you know, if, if the cameo is going to be the person, you know, doing something, you know, doing the action sequence or doing something rough, then it might work its way in. But if you're just like, you know, at the bar, like, let me get a gin and juice. Like, okay, wh- why are you even here? Like that. That's like just to draw people in. That used to work to draw people in to get butts in the seat into theaters. 
Nah, nah, it I mean, it's it's to to me, it's still uh, 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 just a just a cool thing. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't even it doesn't even have to be uh, doesn't even have to be advertised. It's just something like whatever. That's how I, mean, I feel. Maybe, about it. I felt the same maybe way. They tried with, to get Sam Elliott. They may have. I'm and just they, saying we don't know, know what they tried. Yeah, we don't know what they tried. Uh, really, the only other per the only person that would have been worth a cameo would have been Sam Elliott. So maybe who knows? Right. Maybe exactly. They, Right, maybe they try. His I don't character's know. dead, though. Yeah, dead. Um, no, but I mean, just not not as the that's character. Somebody, that's somebody just, else. I got you. Yeah, yeah. just just in it. Yeah, yeah, not as that. See, character. that's why. <laughs> see, but that's why it don't. See, but that's why it it, it adds cheese factor. See, if his nah, if his character was good. still a let, let's just say if his character was still alive, or let's just say if Patrick Swayze was still alive, and then they brought him in to be whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um. That would probably work because that would kind of make you know some kind of sense. I don't, I don't. I don't even necessarily mean write them into the storyline like that. It's just a. It's just a respect thing. That's all it is. It's, like a it's just like I said the same on. thing. Wait, wait a minute. I, I Hold said up. the same thing. Oh, wait a minute. I said the same thing back way back when the Footloose movie came out. Now, like I said, I was like when the Footloose remake came out, I was like. We can't get a Kevin Bacon cameo. We can't get you know, can he play the cop that pulled Ren over or something like that? Could he could he have been the cop and be like, yo, you know, that would have been awesome. Not saying they may have tried to get him and he he refused. Right. We don't know. Right. But it's right. it's just like you know, the freaking dirty dancing movie that didn't have Patrick Swayze in it. He made a uh he made a cameo in it, but he made a cameo as the same character. In one oh, like God, a night, one. one of those movies. Oh, but okay. the point is, I don't care if it's the same character. It doesn't have to be. It's just a matter of. It's just like when they do, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know. I always criticize Rob Zombie, but Rob Zombie did it with Halloween. He bought in mm. the girl who played the girl. Yeah, the, the yeah. Little, oh, the, uh, I forget her name, but her her beautiful self. <laughs> but she played the little girl. In the one of the original uh, in, in Halloween's uh, five, uh, 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 five and, and six, and right, and mm -hmm. then she came back. He brought her into his remake this of Halloween. Make, yeah, Halloween, one of the main characters. That's what I'm talking about. That's the respect factor to me. That's but, but it's but it, but it's a respect. See, it's I'm, not I'm, really I'm, respect. It's just using the character to your you know to, to fit it's into your film. She played a different character. No, was, no, I know she played a different character, but you know. Right. I, I don't know. I I, I don't so, I, I don't I think mean, that but that's, I, I think that's I, my biggest issue. I'm not biggest issue. That's one of my little issues with it. Uh <laughs> the storyline is nowhere near as good. Uh the original storyline is way better than this one. This there was no character development in this one, in my opinion. Uh whereas the other one they took time to develop the 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 townspeople. Who were a big, you know, part of that whole story, getting, getting, uh, you know, booted out of there, you know, getting, you know, Brad Wesley just torturing all of them, uh, because he's right. ah, this is my town, you know, <laughs> and don't you forget it. And so, mm -hmm. like, yeah, all of that stuff. Um, they developed that a little more. They, uh, mm, all they kind of did with this one was give you a little bit of Jake Gyllenhaal's Dalton. A little bit of his guy, but they they actually kind of, in my opinion, kind of left that flat as well, because there was his no backstory. resolution to that. Yeah, it's backstory. Oh, yeah. There was they, no yeah, resolution they, they to that. On it. My, my, my <laughs> yeah, boy who, uh, who played the, but, uh -huh, played the, played guy, the fighter he, in that. He said I, I talked to him earlier today, and he was saying that there was a lot more shot for that, but they cut a lot of it out. Like that whole. See? Yeah, again, the mm -hmm. whole thing, mm -hmm. and it was more to it, but they yeah. cut it out. Yeah, I'm sure they cut a lot. Of, they probably did, you know. So um, we yeah, we yeah, talk that, about this all the time, thing. and thank you for saying that, man, because we talk about this all the time. When we when we like we'll, we'll start saying like we this happened with Batman versus Superman. We were yeah. you know everybody was having this discussion, and I said I said watch when the Snyder ver uh, when, when they do the, if they do a director's cut, watch when it comes out. There's going to be more footage, and sure enough, they did a director's cut of Batman versus Superman, and the whole story made sense because all the parts they cut out they put in, and now here sure. here we go finding out right now that that stuff is on the cutting room floor. It's, I mean, yeah. but this also is an action film, so I, I feel like. 
Yeah. They cut enough that they wanted to put out, you know, they cut off, they trimmed off with a little bit. They could get to trim off without making it too long of a film also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but some, you know what, so, over two hours. But, but you know what? Here's the thing. You know, trying to appease people, and I, I don't know whether they're trying to appease audiences or, or what, because they think people have these, you know, short-term uh, anxieties about sitting in the theater for too long. If the story is gripping enough, and if it's captivating enough, the people are going to stay in their seats, and they're going to slowly eat their food so, so they can have something left at the end, especially if they drink, because the movie's good. I mean, it's no, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I you know, it, it, th- that's how movies used to be made. You know, make the movie. Yeah, this stuff stuff is going to end up on the cutting room floor, but the but the meat of the story shouldn't be cut away just to so you can appease some kind of time factor. Like, just right. tell the story and let the movie do its thing. And that's the other thing. I do agree agree with the director on. This should have been in the movie theaters, and it yes. was only in the it's movie true. theaters for the premiere. And uh, and yeah. all of the critics that were at the premiere said the same thing. It did well, not yeah, all of them, but a few of them yeah. said the translation to TV is not the same as watching it on on the big screen. And I think that's nice. part of the problem of the of the story being the, the overall st- arc of the story being in your face because of the way you know, like what West pointed out, the way that they shot it with the angles they shot it at. It's it was meant for you to enjoy that on a bigger <laughs> screen. You know, it, yeah, I don't I mean, care if you got an 80 or a 90 inch screen TV. You, you know, it, it's. Hmm. I, mean, I feel like one part, of, only part of the, there was one part of the story story that I felt could have probably been cut out and replaced with something else was the whole bookstore thing. Yeah, whole, I like whole, that part. The girl in the bookstore. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I liked it, but I felt like it didn't fit. Like it was just put there, just yeah. to put there, because it oh, like been, they yeah, I like it, it. It was kind of yeah. like. It, it, it was there was the, basically the subplot they used from back the, when the old story when he had the uh, when, when Patrick Swayze was dealing with the with the guy that had the, the farm. The guy had the, the farm, was, yeah, the, the one farm, farm, and the guy farm who, had who they the, blew up. The barn blew up, and then the other right. guy too had the store that the was his girl's store. uncle. Yeah, the hardware store. Right. So they needed so, a catalyst to make him go. Yeah. And, to propel uh, it, to propel it, yeah, to, to stay, yeah, because he was gonna leave, what? and when you do, right, yeah, that's they needed but, that, they needed, yeah. uh, they needed a catalyst for it. I get it, I'm, but um, you know, I think it was, I think they kind of felt, even though okay, the, they cut it, whatever the case may be, but they still fell fell short on, um, you know, uh, giving you some sort of resolution to the background. So it was like okay. So he killed a guy. Okay, it was supposedly now they actually at they actually up the state <clears throat> they up the stakes by making it his like a friend of his that he ended yeah. up killing. But there there was no resolution to that. There was no resolution to that. It was just like he killed a guy. Okay, <laughs> you know. See they they I you mean, see how they yeah. did it with Patrick right with Patrick he killed a guy. The same way that he om- that he ended up killing the other guy, right, and that right, came back, right. that had a resolution because his girl saw him do it. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a whole yeah. thing, a whole thing there. Then he had a chance to yeah. do it again to Wesley, and he didn't. Right? right. So there's your resolution there on the whole killing thing, right? So yeah, yeah. he tried to kill Connor, even though he did. He yeah, yeah, but see that, but see, and that's yeah, why you didn't. That's yeah. why you didn't need no resolution because he was now like, "God, this guy's bananas." You gotta have a yeah. resolution. No, you know you don't have to out there. You do. Oh, you don't I have say, to. I say, that's not good I say you do that. have that resolution. How about I, not? I feel like make, how about not making it? Like once again, <laughs> why are you going and making a movie that remaking a movie that was good? <laughs> It wasn't oh like Row House, because, well, it wasn't like was, was a piece of crap back when it came out and it was terrible. Bro, made this is stuff. 19, but that was 1989, bro. Still okay, fine. <laughs> that was a it long was like, yeah, time ago. There's, there's, wait, but there's wait, a wait, lot, wait. there's a generation of people that have no idea what that film was about. Well, yeah, okay. yeah, okay, that's yeah. fine. But let me let's let's ask a very legitimate question right now. Now, we, Wes, Kevin, myself, and Dave. We have all sat around. We've talked about movies, you know, about our experience, whatever. How many really movies have we ever seen in our lifetimes 
that were a remake that were better, or forget even better, that were even equal to the original film that we saw. Mm-hmm. How well, many? None of them, but I mean, that exactly. Well, I, can't, you, I, can't, already... I can't say none. I can't say no, none. I can't say none. I'm going to say Hardly very few. None. I'm going to say very I few. Got, I, very few. I can't, I ain't got none at the top of my head, but I, I can't say none. Okay, the thing, the thing was actually a remake, even on the one and, on and, back then. Yo, that and was better listen. than the original. Um, which was I'll a long give, time ago. I, I'll get I'll give I'll give Su- Suicide the thing, Squad and I'll give the fly. Uh, you, the you know what? Hey, j- check a box for Dave. Check a box for Suicide Dave. Squad. Suicide Squad. <laughs> Suicide Squad. The Suicide, Suicide Squad, Squad is not is not a remake. It's not a remake. It's kind of a it's kind of a sequel. No. It, yeah, yeah, exactly. It was, that is it a was, sequel. That's the yeah, sequel. It was, that no, is not a remake. It was, James James Gunn had the chance to do it over again, so basically killed off the old team and brought in his new team. It was it was a, basically <laughs> no, his version because, of a no, remake. No, he didn't because because you brought you brought back. That was you bring back Holy Quinn. You brought back the no, same he person. Brought back the money. So, he brought no, back the money no. makers. Mm-hmm. Yes. No. Yeah. Holly no, Quinn, I, Holly I, Quinn was people came. People were going to a squad for Harley Quinn. Not for Captain Boomerang, not for fucking uh, uh, the other people. But shark King guy. Shark and all this. Shark. They were going for Harley Quinn. They were going for Edith Elba. <laughs> they were going for John Cena. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can't count that. In. I can't count. I, I'll, I'll give it as a sequel. Yes, I'm talking about. And you actually see this movie that you saw before, and now you have you have remade. Like like Wes said about ten minutes ago, Footloose. Footloose is nowhere near as good as the original one. Robocop is nowhere near as good as the original one. Yes, you, you, you're reimagining it for today. No, 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 no. What no. about the, the Dread? second Robocop? What about Dread? The second Dread Robocop was, was equal to. Dread, dread was, was dread was dread, dread, dread yeah dread, dread was better dread, than the first dread, one dread, 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 dread was way better than the first one I, yeah yeah look, 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 look how long we got to sit here and really rack our brain to come <laughs> right, to the answer right. to that kind of question stop remaking movies that were good remake the movies that were crap remake I those i got another one for you scarface what? yeah yeah that's another one okay. Scarface is technically I'll go scarface. a remake yeah, yeah, Te- Scarface, you know, Scarface was, was a remake, definitely. That's definitely a remake, and that definitely was way better. Yeah, there's a few we got, but the whole point is they did make it, so we, <laughs> we have to talk about it's it. Here. Um, you know, I like I said, I'm not even comparing the storylines to me, it's no no brainer. The original storyline was way better. This one, I agree with David on the fact that this was like popcorn and soda. This was more popcorn and soda than the first one. The first one, to me, oh, yeah. had more of a storyline. You know, it, it had more of a buildup. This one, you know, kind of got into it pretty fast. Uh, you yeah, didn't yeah. even see Patrick Sw- Swayze fight until like the, you know, two, I don't know how half many hour minutes movie. Yeah, half yeah, out of the movie was in. He didn't even yeah, fight. Remember the first, and, yeah. and that's another thing that they kind of left out. Whether they left it on the cutting room floor or never shot it, the establish of him, you know, uh, just establishing himself with the crew in the, you know, in the bar. Remember that scene oh, where he yeah, got to like, yeah. "Hey, you I, take I think, the train." I think they left hey, that you. Out. I think, that? Yeah. yeah, I they think probably, they, I think they, they put that in there purposely. Yeah, yeah but and, 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 and but even that part right there. Now I still didn't watch all this Row House, but in in the original Row House, he he was known because of his skills as a bouncer. That's what made Dalton who he was. In this movie, he's known because he was an ex MMA fighter. I mean, which is right. but 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 Ralph, here's because the thing you gotta that's understand though. It. That's but, but, but the times. That's what well, one that's updating the times, right. and two, Ralph, I'm I'm gonna keep it a buck. And you and Ralph, you you know people that are bouncers. They got hands, like you, yeah, you know, and, and some of them, and and some of them have been boxers. Some of them know, you know, whatever form of martial arts they know. A, a lot of yeah, a lot of them that are bouncers, that, that that you know, they they got they they actually have some a skill set, you you know. So it's not far fetched. I'm not. I'm not. That this I'm not, girl. Wait, wait, wait. That this not, girl goes not, and I, look for. I'm not. Da- well, I know. What, what I'm, I'm saying doubting, is, I'm not doubting. I'm not doubting that part. What I'm saying is one one of the things that got me with the original was that you had this guy who was a bouncer who was not some 
let's say at that time you would have Rocky. He wasn't some Rocky kind of dude. He he looked like an ordinary guy walking around that just so happened he knew this skill set that that made him the best at his business. But even then, he he learned the best business from someone that was better than him. This guy is when he's coming in, he's already an MMA fighter from Jump Street. I mean, when, once he gets, I mean, not too many people that are MMA fighters is going to give an they're already able but, to outmatch somebody. It was it was the whole thing that he was just an average Joe. But but see, but but Ralph, that's not real true still because yeah. Go ahead, Dave. I'm sorry. Most people nowadays, most people nowadays are, are trained in MMA anyway, so it, it yeah, bounce used to be a bounce. Yeah. So yeah, you know, most I, I, I I don't have a problem with that, Ralph, because I, I, that's more. Right. I mean, who the hell? Who the you know? It, it, yeah. Nobody knows bouncers anymore like that. It, you know, it, it makes more sense that you would know him or recognize him because he's an MMA fighter that turned and, bouncer. I understand that. I, but, I have and, a and, but, and, but, but and they're not trying to do a page by page remake either. No, they're not. That, that's, that's not that, that your that 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 well, I'm glad you brought that up. Well, but but that we already, uh uh psycho proved that that doesn't work. When you yeah. do a shot for right. shot remake, they are getting right. killed. And, and Vince Vaughn did not do a bad acting job in Psycho, but they did a shot for shot remake and they got slaughtered for it. Right? They got slaughtered for it. So and, and, uh, and that go, doesn't work. Yeah, and, and to and, and to and, and to add on to to the point that uh, that David was saying with. With 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 uh with respect to the you know him being an MMA MMA fighter, Ralph, it kind of sort of does play into the same narrative of like what you were saying. It, you know, it's just different. His skill set is just different. Whereas Patrick Swayze's skill set, you know, was as a bouncer, and like you said, he learned from somebody else, and blah blah blah. You know, he had you know, it, it's just you know, in in movie telling now nowadays in movie telling, it's kind of sort of uh. I don't want to say common sense kind of thinking or, or storytelling, but it but it kind of sort of is like, OK, he's an MMA fighter. Nobody becomes anything without training, without being tutelage by someone. You know what I'm saying? I have some type of tutelage. So it, it's it's like an automatic thing. Like some things are just not needed to be explained. And I think that's a part of cutting the fat from the story, which kind of can affect it in some senses. But in this one, I don't think it does. I just think the the buildup, like what Wes was saying earlier, there wasn't enough buildup in the beginning. It was like they, she went to a fight looking for one guy, saw that he was sus, for lack of a better phrase. So this guy was like, "Wait a minute, who is this guy? That this guy's don't want to even fight him. Let me, let me, let me get him." Right, and they that just was, jumped was, to the. Yeah, they were like. I, I think what the they should have did. I think when they and when they jumped from that scene and then him get, being spoilers into the. I'm not gonna say anything, but you know, you know what happened with him, and then they they go to her bar and they show the people fighting da 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 whatever. I think the movie should have opened, showing what her problem was and why she was having a problem and 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 right. building up the character of the bad guy. Making mm -hmm. it a reason why. Okay, mm -hmm. now we see why she's yeah. going to go yeah. after uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. Yeah, that they, part they lacked, I, I they think lacked that, a little. They lacked a little absolutely. bit of that in a few areas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, know, you got yeah. A, the setup. That's the setup, right? Yeah. They didn't. They yeah. didn't really have a setup. They just kind of was like, I, 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 I didn't the, really and, and like I, her as the uh -huh. bar owner either. Yeah. Way. I didn't like her yeah, character that was, much she either. Was mid, yeah, she was mid. Yeah. Uh, you know, nothing really like you know, you you felt for that other bar owner from the original, you know, right? I mean? you right, right, yeah. He, he, yeah. he had a sense of he had a sense of he cared, I'm just for trying that to bar. make it like you know I'm saying? just trying to make it right. in, in this. Right. And I think it, was it, no, yo, I want to clean this. There up. was no character build with her, that's what it was. Yeah, it was no character, it, it, you know what? It was no character like, build, yeah, it was no character build for her, and the fact that it didn't it, it wasn't like she was desperate for money she's like yo i can pay you 5k a week it's like what mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> like you yeah can? i mean yeah <laughs> like, and, and on top of that it, she gave me a sense of i'm just not gonna let nobody bully me out of this that's yeah. what the sense she got the other guy the original guy gives you a sense of i care about this place and i want to clean well, it up right. and make it well, well, well and she, i don't well, want to lose it you well, she did care like, because she said it was her dad's, right. 
and she didn't want to. Right, her uncles. Right, her uncles. Right, and she didn't want to. Yeah, right, she didn't want to give it up because it was her uncles. Right. Yeah, she cared. She just didn't see like she did. Yeah. <laughs> but, right. Yeah, know, I felt like yeah, they should have. They should have added oh, more yeah, to they, her character. I agree. They should have added more to her character. Um, well, you know, she didn't get harmed. People. And see, I think that's the thing that was missing. Nobody yeah. harmed. Like her life wasn't right. in danger. And I think right. that's oh. the piece that was missing. Like she was yeah. just like you know, you just gotta like you're a girl and uh, that can't fight. With all of these yeah. dudes around that are just coming and tearing up your place, and there's nothing yeah. you could do about it. It's you know, it's yeah. like the bully coming into your house and taking your food out your plate, and yeah. he got a gun, and you ain't gonna go grab your food because you don't want to get shot. Yeah, and they were definitely more menacing in the first one. You know, breaking yeah. up everybody's business. Uh, you know, mm. you had the guy run. You know, the the monster truck <laughs> busting yeah. up the yeah. guy who run over all the things. Cars. Blowing, they they blew yeah, so up like two they, or three businesses, you know. They you know were real. Where was, the thick, where was the thick blonde at? That's what I wanted. Where was the thick blonde at? I'm like, didn't really. I, I, mean, I was missing yeah, that. Yeah, where was, was the thick blonde? There was a thick blonde. It was, it was, it was Rat Catcher 2 from Suicide Squad. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> yep, that's what that yep. was. Yeah, she's playing yeah, not, 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 not as a not as a not as the doctor. So I remember, like, in, in, like the bad guys yeah, had that the, the yeah, blonde yeah, that was yeah. didn't know Brad was girl. yeah yeah. That, there you go, Brad was Wesley, girl. That, yeah, because Brad Wesley was jailing this one, and that was his his little punk ass son doing it. <laughs> <laughs> what they, I feel like he was terrible. They, they, terrible bad they guy. They focused man. more I, on yeah. They focused yeah. more on the bad guy of Connor being the bad guy. I feel like Connor they should have just seen the bad guy. The, cut the to cut that little dude out and just had the yeah. bad had the father in jail from the start and just from kept the whole start. Connor thing going if they wanted to keep Connor. Yeah. Connor yeah. character yeah. basically I, was the guy Jim from the first movie that had, that was the martial arts expert that fought Patrick Swayze in the first movie. That's yeah. who Connor was in this one. That's just who Connor basically carried was. up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they tamped him up, and it was good. You know, Connor's good. He has some good, you know, fights. He did really good, very good, excellent. Yeah, he did. He did good, man. I, like I said, he was he's he's over amped up, but I enjoyed him. He's he's funny but anyway. He, I, he did very good with the fights. He, like his fights were so believable, and it, that's what I like about this film. It wasn't like it wasn't like one of these films where all everybody knows martial arts. It was basically a bar ball. Yeah, they were they were. Mm -hmm. Pretty good with their fighting, but it was they weren't they weren't doing martial spinning back kicks and flips and shit like that. They were yeah slugging the shit out of each other and, and slamming each other and yeah. going over and hitting each other with and stuff. It was a brawl. Yeah. So that there you Stop go. Yeah. Even even, even Jake Gyllenhaal slap. Even yeah. yeah. Even Jake Gyllenhaal's a uh, 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 slap sequence. Like I I I, I, was, I was, that was. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty enjoyable because that it it just took you for me. It took me back to my to my junior high school days when everybody smack box. That's that that's yeah, how you got your boxing, that's how your yep. skills started up smack boxing. Yep. Slap boxing back in the day, bro. You know, and you know you had to you had to get extra when the girls was watching. <laughs> oh, oh, girls listen, you get embarrassed when the girls are around. You don't, you, that's the one thing you don't do. Yeah, you don't you don't get extra when the girls are around because that's when you do one a, a dude slip, come back up, bow. Now you walking around with a handprint on your face, looking crazy. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't. I, wasn't but I think. I think. Yeah. So I, you wasn't. I, you wasn't, Dave. Oh no! No, 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 no! I, I get. I, 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 I didn't get good until later because I get slapped. I get start kicking me. <laughs> so. oh, man, you breaking the rules. <laughs> I'll break the rules. I, I wasn't you good. My hands, rules, weren't, my hands weren't that good. Man. Yo, you don't tell me you me. was that guy. Get get mad right. and just start punching people in the face. No, no, I don't see. You know, slap. I get slapped too like hard. There's ladies around. Like this, yeah. This yeah. Is, this I, yeah. I'm, I'm just, right. Right. Right there, right? Right. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yo, I that was all the time. I used to hate it. <laughs> all right. Well, I had, I'm light skinned too. I had handprints all over my face. Yeah, like, wow. Yo, that's that's funny, man. Okay, well, bro, let me tell you, we we appreciate you joining us and giving your opinion on this, man. Tell us what you got going on, man. Uh, uh, you know, and shout out right your social now, media. 
Well, all right now, I'm currently working. I've been since January. I've been working on the Night Agent season two. Oh, word! On there. Yeah. Oh, dope, dope, dude! I loved season one of Night Agent. Yo, that was pretty good. I only watched yeah. it when I got the job. I, <laughs> oh, really? Because <laughs> <laughs> when I had the audition in like November of last year, and I was like, and it was like, oh, you, you they're interested. I was like, word, all right, so I'm gonna start watching it. And then I was like, I ain't hear nothing. So then I ain't gonna watch it no more. Yeah. And then they contacted me in like January, and I was like, finished watching it. But yeah, I've been working on it. Uh, I'm not dead yet. Okay. Okay. So uh, That's I, I think up. I'm in until episode Dope. nine. So yeah, so, okay. hey, so hey, hey, that in this city. Did they give you uh, uh, uh did, did, uh, did do you know when you guys are gonna rap and when they're gonna start doing posts and when it could be coming to um to Netflix? Well, I'm I'm probably filming and they said probably through May and we're probably it's mm -hmm. probably coming out sometime later this year. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, we're well, always shooting like two episodes yeah. at a time, so it's ten episodes. Make sure you you let us know when that's when that's ready. We'll check that out. Shout yeah. out your social media, so people want to uh, hire you and things like that. Yeah. No. <laughs> Instagram <laughs> is underscore David Chen underscore. Facebook is David yeah. Chen. That's what's up. Yeah, we appreciate yeah, you, man. I, I, I don't, got, I don't I know, I don't know the guy, but shout out to Jim Terry if he is a stunt guy that worked on. Uh, Roadhouse. I oh saw yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen him in there. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to so, bring him up too. Um, yeah. Shout right, out to him. In there, shout him out, yeah. yeah, yeah, man. But bro, man, definitely. Uh, we appreciate you joining us. We want to bring you back. Thank and you definitely when me, the man. when the fall guy come on, we got the we got the really. I'm, I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch this week, and I'm gonna break it down and really get into it. Yeah. All right, my dude. I appreciate you, bro. David, All right, Dave. Dave, I'm gonna hit you up. Dave, Dave, have a good one, man. To talk to you about. All right, no doubt. All right, bro. Thank you, man. Have Dave. a good one, Dave. Yeah, man. Dave's a man, man. I love, you know, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, he enjoyed it. Like I said before, man, and I I sent the link over to Jib Terry. 